Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pond can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pond has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Salisaw Dental Care is the place to go for general and cosmetic dentistry, offering private rooms and state-of-the-art equipment. Salisaw Dental Care makes visits to the dentist as comfortable as possible for the whole family. As an accredited Invisalign provider, Dr. Gray can help you achieve the smile you've been dreaming of. For a toothache or a routine cleaning, their friendly staff and skilled doctors will take care of you. For a full menu of procedures and treatments Doctors Gray and Dotson offer, visit SalisawDentalCare.com. If you think about it, hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? Mm. That's also true. There's always something to talk about when it comes to McDonald's breakfast. Right now, get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or a McChicken biscuit and hash browns for $2. Only at McDonald's. 11 athletes, 10 games, 100 yards, hundreds of players, thousands of fans, countless snaps, blocks, and tackles. One goal. This is Black Diamond Football. Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pond can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pond has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to homecoming evening here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium as the Salisaw Black Diamonds host the Ada Cougars. We're going to go live here to the homecoming events momentarily, um, and, and you may get... You may get, you may not hear any audio. There may, we may have to mute it if they have some music playing. So just be aware of that as well. But, um, but we're going to go live now to our homecoming ceremonies. She is the daughter of Doctor and Mrs. Mrs. Chris and Dana Orendorf, and the granddaughter of Mr. and Mrs. Bill and Shelley Orendorf, and Mr. and Mrs. Greg and Dana Sykes. Addie is a straight A student and was a three-year member of the SMS academic team, which she earned a position at the state academic meet in 2021 and 2022, as well as the title of regional champion in 2022. Addie is an avid reader of both fiction and nonfiction and enjoys drawing. Addie plays basketball for the Lady Black Diamonds and runs track. She is a member of the First Baptist Church of Salisaw and has attended church camps and volunteered for the Special Olympics and Vacation Bible School. Addie was a dance student for 11 years and a member of the company at Miss Jordan School of Dance for six years. Addie is now a dedicated second year Black Diamond football trainer and enjoys serving the team on the sidelines. Addie hopes to continue training throughout high school and in college at the University of Oklahoma. Addie plans on working in the medical field upon graduation. This is freshman Addie Orendorf. She is being escorted by senior Trevor Jenkins. He is the son of Robert and Charmin Jenkins and Caroline Knickerbocker and the grandson of Mel and Cherie Williams and Sharon and Gary Foltz. Up next is freshman attendant, Miss Hallie Lene Wassenberg. 
She is the daughter of Russ and Dabney Wassenberg and the granddaughter of Jerry and Bette Coleman and Larry and Rhonda Wassenberg and the proud sister of Creighton, Brendan, and Jacob. Hallie moved to Oklahoma in 2021 and joined the football team as a trainer. She joined the Lady Diamond wrestling team and was voted outstanding wrestler at the Maverick Conference Girls Junior High Tournament and placed fourth at the OKWA State Championships. Hallie attends United Faith Church and works at Shad's Catfish Hole. She hopes to continue wrestling in college and to study marine biology. This is freshman Hallie Wassenberg. She is being escorted by senior Ty Brown. He is the son of Cheryl and Richard Gustafson and the late Tony Brown and the grandson of Marcia Doubt and the late Harold Babb and Sharon Brown and the late Bill Brown. Our first sophomore attendant this evening is Miss Casey Lynn Brackett. She is the daughter of Josh and Sarah Brackett and the granddaughter of Charlie and Shirley Brackett and Dr. Max and Linda Yancey. She is a varsity black diamond cheerleader and was on the academic state championship team last year. Casey plays basketball and runs track and is a member of FCA. She was a football and basketball attendant last year and is on the honor roll. Casey attends the United Faith Church and plans to attend college and find a career helping people. This is sophomore attendant, Casey Brackett. Casey is being escorted by senior Christian Taylor. He is the son of Jeremy and Jennifer Taylor. Our next sophomore attendant is Miss Shaley Nicole Schoep. She is the daughter of Josh and Lindsay Smith and Clay and Tammy Schoep and the granddaughter of Kelly and Drew Edgman and Kendra and the late Billy Shope. Shaley is an honor student and has been a Salisaw varsity cheerleader for two years and was on the academic state championship team last year. Her team was a performance state qualifier and a game day state qualifier. She is a member of FCA and this year she plays fast pitch softball with the Lady Diamonds. Shaley attends Bethel Baptist Church and she plans to attend college after completing high school and pursue a degree in the medical field and become a physical therapist. This is sophomore attendant, Shaley Shope. Shaley is being escorted by senior Patrick Mills. He is the son of Sadie and Gregory Scott and the grandson of Nancy Gilland. Our first junior attendant is Miss Emily Brooke Carson. She is the daughter of Beth and Olin Carson III and the granddaughter of Loretta and Olin Carson Jr., the late Barbara Pitts and the late Bobby Joe and Marilyn Watts. Emily is a three-year varsity cheerleader, a two-time game day state qualifier, a three-time performance state qualifier, and four A academic state champions in 2021. She has one year varsity track experience and is the student council junior vice president. Emily is a member of the S FCA and is a concurrent student at Carl Albert State College. She is an active member of United Students at United Faith Church and is the proud aunt of Heidi, Sadie, and Brindley Shockey. Emily plans to attend the University of Oklahoma and pursue a degree in nursing. This is junior attendant, Emily Carson. She is being escorted by senior Chance Rich. He is the son of John and Lori Rich. Our next junior attendant is Miss Sydney Lane Curry. She is the daughter of Mark and Lindsay Curry and Jennifer Marvin Curry and Jason Parrish and the proud little sister of Ryan and Bailey. Sydney is the granddaughter of Jim and Pam Marvin and Mary Ann Curry and the late Richard Curry. 
She's a three-year letterman for Salisaw Varsity Cheer, a two-time game day state qualifier and three-time performance state qualifier. Her team was the 4A academic state champions last year. Sydney is concurrently enrolled at Carl Albert State College and is a member of FCA. She was on the yearbook staff her freshman year and was a four-year company member at Miss Jordan School of Dance and a competitive gymnast for six years. Sydney plans to attend college at Ole Miss to become a sports medicine physician. This is junior attendant, Sydney Curry. Sydney is being escorted by senior Levi Sanders. He is the son of Tammy Sanders and the grandson of Shirley Sanders and the late Charles Sanders. Our first senior attendant is Miss Kiera Heaven Epler. She is the daughter of C.J. Epler and Nicole and Blake Lattimore, and is the granddaughter of Cliff Epler and Sheila Epler. She has been on the yearbook staff for three years and is the business editor this year. Kiara has been on student council since the sixth grade and is currently the senior president. She is a member of the Business Professionals of America and FCCLA. This is senior Kiara Epler. Kiara is being escorted this evening by Charlie Martin. He is the son of Todd and Tammy Martin and the grandson of Sherry and Pete Dinsmore and Kathy Martin and the late Doug Martin. Up next is senior attendant Miss Camden Johnson. She is the daughter of Robert and Natalie Johnson and is the granddaughter of Gus and Margaret Perry and Mary Jo and the late Harold Johnson. Camden is a four-year letterman in fast pitch softball. She has been an FFA officer for three years and has shown sheep since the eighth grade, making the sale every year. Camden is the boys' basketball manager and is the black diamond man for football. She was the football attendant her freshman year and named Vibe Editor Choice Dr. Pepper Hometown Hero 2020 Salisaw Photo Area and Vibe Salisaw's FFA Spotlight by Oklahoma Ag Credit 2022. She is an active member of the First United Methodist Church where she is a member of the Praise and Worship Team. Her future plans include attending the University of Arkansas and earning a degree in occupational therapy. This is senior Camden Johnson. She is being escorted this evening by seniors Kiowa Kaufman and Caleb Cowan. Kiowa is the son of John and Andrea Weber and Eric and Amelia Kaufman and the grandson of Thomas and Elaine Bridgewater and Rick and the late Sherry Kaufman. Caleb is the son of Ashley and Matt Hawkins and Jeremy Cowan and the grandson of Stephen and Joy Green and Nathan and Roxy Noble and Lisa and the late Richard Hawkins. <laughs> Olivia Jo Neff is the daughter of Nick and Ricky Jo Neff. She is the granddaughter of Rick and Vicki Agent and Dennis and Shauna Neff and Frankie and Kayla Way. Olivia enjoys gymnastics and swimming. She is most proud of her new role as big sister. She attends Bethel Baptist Church and is excited to grow up being a black diamond. Our crown bearer is Clayton Jax Warner. He is the son of Brian and Mako Warner, and the grandson of Jim and Linda Adams, and Bobby Turner and Kay Turner, and the late Bobby Warner. Clayton is in first grade at Liberty Elementary and wrestles with a Salisaw takedown club, and plays coach pitch soft, coach pitch for the Salisaw Cardinals. He has been a Liberty leader each year he has been in school, and is also a member of the First United Methodist Church of Salisaw.
And finally, our 2022 Black Diamond Football Queen, Miss Ellen Kathleen Martin. Ellie is the daughter of Todd and Tammy Martin. Ellie, she's also the granddaughter of Kathy and the late Doug Martin and Sherry and Pete Densmore. She is a four-year member of the girls' varsity basketball team, varsity cheer and track team as well. Ellie is a part of the leadership team, National Honor Society, and FCA. She has been on the superintendent's honor roll for all three years of high school. She is a four-year letterman for Salisaw varsity cheer and basketball. Ellie is a three-year letterman for Salisaw Varsity Track. She is a two-time game day state qualifier and a three-time performance state qualifier. Her cheer team was the 4A academic state champions last year. Ellie was on the all-conference team in basketball last year. She also qualified for the state track meet her junior year in the 4 by one Last year, Ellie was voted best all around by her teammates in cheer and received the MVP award in basketball and the Model Athlete Award in track. She is also a girls' state delegate. Ellie was a four-year Martin, four-year member of the Lady Fusion Travel Basketball Team and did gymnastics for 12 years. She is a member of the First United Methodist Church Youth Group. After graduation, Ellie plans to attend the University of Oklahoma and pursue a business degree. Ellie is being escorted and crowned this evening by senior captains Parker Jackson and Sim Kilpatrick. Parker is the son of Brad and Sarah Jackson and the grandson of Steve and Paula Paget and Brian and Gina Jackson and the great grandson of Dewey and the late Aline Paget and Margie and the late Dusty Rhodes, Erlene and the late Robert Boitano and the late Carl Jackson and the late Helen Onstott. Sim Kilpatrick is the son of Jessica Barnes and Siong Kilpatrick. <laughs> Captains, at this time, you may crown your queen. One more time, let's hear it for Queen Ellie and her court. Thank you again for being here and supporting Black Diamond Football. My experience with Pink Current Enrollment was amazing. I wouldn't change anything about it. In high school, it can be difficult to uh, transition to college. What I've enjoyed most about concurrent enrollment is the scheduling. My experience with concurrent enrollment was awesome. I could better prepare myself for what was ahead. My instructors at Carlisle were very flexible, available, and they helped me achieve success. Comfortable isn't the first word most people think of when they think about a dentist visit, but Aesthetic Dental Institute is different. Dr. Henshaw has been serving the community for over 25 years with expert dentistry. 
For cleanings and preventative care, IV and oral conscious sedation, cosmetic dentistry, bleaching, Invisalign, restorations, and even Botox, Aesthetic Dental Institute offers modern dentistry in a relaxed and calm environment. Schedule your complimentary consultation at salisawdentist.com. When you're in a hurry and hungry, just pull your car into Diamond Express, 712 South Kerr Boulevard for Salisaw's best breakfast on the go. You're going to love the food, the big burritos, the biscuit sandwiches, the breakfast platters, and the best biscuits and gravy around. Yum! Diamond Express is well stocked with all your favorites. Great food, yummy snacks, hot and cold beverages, lottery tickets, and much more. When you need fuel for your body or fuel for your car, come into Diamond Express, 712 South Kerr Boulevard in Salisaw. Since 1907, Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families with compassion and attention to detail when you experience the loss of a loved one. Trust Agent Mallory Martin to guide you through the process of honoring your loved one's life with dignity. With over 100 years of experience in all facets of funeral service, Agent Mallory Martin will help you celebrate your loved one in a way that would make everyone proud. Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving your family from one generation to the next. For 40 years, Stavely Insurance has been the go-to company when it comes to keeping you and yours protected. They specialize in commercial insurance as well as home, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, farm, and life. Stavely Insurance is a brokerage. That means they shop for you, finding the best coverage at the best price while offering convenient monthly payments. The problem solvers at Stavely Insurance concern themselves with your coverage, so you don't have to. Stavely Insurance, 204 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Show your hometown pride with a School Spirit debit card from First Star Bank. Each time you make a purchase with your School Spirit debit card, First Star Bank will make a donation to your school district. You make a purchase, they make a donation. Everyone wins. Support your school with First Star Bank's School Spirit debit card. First Star Bank has donated over $100,000 to local schools through the School Spirit program. Debit cards may be ordered online at firststar-bank.com. How may I help you? And have a great day. Those phrases aren't taken lightly at Best Mart, 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Couple that service with delicious food like homemade biscuits and gravy, breakfast burritos, lots of fried goodies, and a huge selection of beverages, and you have a winning combination. When you're on the east side and you want some quick, delicious food, your favorite snack, or just need fuel, you can't beat Best Mart. At Best Mart, we try to live up to our name every day. Come see why today at 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Do you care for an aging loved one? Are you concerned about them and their daily welfare? Call Peters Agency for personalized and compassionate home health and hospice care. Peters Agency is available right now. Together, you can create a caring plan for your loved one. From dressing and grooming to meals and transportation, your loved one will feel comfortable and cared for. A solution is simple and only a phone call away. Peters Agency provides comprehensive family-oriented health care with the belief that care with prayer changes things. Victory Gun and Pawn, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pawn can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pawn has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Northeastern Health System in Salisaw realizes we all have choices in health care. When we are healthy, we laugh harder, we work better, and we take care of each other. So why not choose a hospital that cares for you and your community? You have choices. Choose personal respectful and compassionate care at Northeastern Health System in Salisaw. Your right choice for health care right here at home. Cinco's Grilling Cantina is Salisaw's home for great Mexican food and live music. Cinco's features amazing chile verde, fajitas, authentic street tacos, loaded baked potatoes, great drinks, and much more. Like them on Facebook for yummy specials, shopping events, and concerts. Plus, Cinco's Banquet and Event Center is available for wedding receptions, birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, and meetings. Cinco's Grilling Cantina, 230 North Oak in Salisaw. And remember, work hard, be kind, eat tacos. Michael Bench from the Mix 105.1. 
I moved back home to Salisaw, and two weeks after I arrived, lightning struck my AC unit, and it was toast. I called LaCosta at Oberstee Insurance, and she quickly got the ball rolling with the American farmers and ranchers folks, and my AC was replaced in just a few days. They were extremely professional. Thanks again for the great service. Folks, if you want this level of service, stop by 1213 East Cherokee or on the other end of 775 6233. Forever Memories Funeral Services offers local ownership with deep roots in the community and a caring staff dedicated to serving Sequoia County and surrounding communities. We provide ceremonies uniquely designed to celebrate the life journey of your loved one. We welcome you to take advantage of all our services, including pre-planning and grief counseling. Forever Memories Funeral Services, bringing family and friends together in a time of loss. <laughs> I got some good storage tonight, Lou. Do you? Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mix TV's live coverage of Salisaw Black Diamond Football live here, Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. It's homecoming night here as the Diamonds host the Ada Cougars. Brad Cameron, Craig Benson, Lewis Walking Stick. Guys, district starts tonight. You guys ready? It does. For it? You guys ready? Get Coach? to keep track of district uh, marginal points. Marginal and points. Find out who yep. else is playing where in the district. And, and we've got uh, you know Fort Gibson and Poto, Broken Bow and Medill, which I'm I'm, yeah. I'm eager to see how those two kind of shake out because I, I don't know what's going on at Fort Gibson. I know they lost their quarterback. Poto's rolling again. Uh, and Medill, I'm anxious to see how they stack up against yeah. the Savages down there at Broken Bow. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of losing their quarterback, the Ada Cougars lost their quarterback. Um, yes. To a knee injury, and second and, half, and, and we're probably going to see probably going to see a freshman quarterback uh -huh. tonight for them. So yes. Diamonds might be able to get some pressure on him. We're going to we're going to see. We're hoping kind of yeah. you know kind of fluster him. Maybe get some turnovers in the ball game tonight. Yeah. That, you know, I yeah. spoke to yeah. I spoke to Coach Vargas at Durant about that whole you know because I didn't know if the kid you know how that that was the play. I saw the play that it was in, that happened, and, and I just got a couple of clips and and uh, and evidently. He said that the, the young kid came in and hurt them late in the game. You know, threw two, two or three touchdown passes that yeah. kind of put the, kind of put the game away. Yeah. So if he's a freshman, he's, he's uh, sounds like he's a pretty special freshman. They, right. they, ha they have a sophomore as well. Not sh they, it, to me, it sounded like the freshman was going to play more. Sure. But they have a sophomore quarterback yeah. as well. A couple, a couple options, and also probably going to see some wildcat. I believe out of them. so. I believe yep. they'll try to protect the freshman quarterback, keep him healthy yeah, in certain situations one, with a wildcat athlete back there. Before, you, you know. They uh, cumulative you know, over three games, their opponents, uh, McAllister, Durant, and Ardmore, have made as many first downs as Ada, right? And they've had uh, they've had 70 percent completion rate when they throw the football. The opponents of Ada. So, Things so, like that. So, so yards per carry is so, pretty good. So the secondary of, of the Cougars could be susceptible well, to some. And the, and the yards per carry was like four and a half yards a carry. Right. Those are yeah. cumulative. And I know yeah. some of those were routes, you know. McAllister got after him good. Well, well you Par know, Parker and, Jackson last week, he played a really good sure. football game and was in control, didn't turn it over. It looked really good throwing the football. So that, that could be a plus tonight also and, uh, for, and for so the Diamonds. We, and I think the one thing that we've got to get going, we've got to get the rushing. We've got to get the running game. Sure. We're going to have to find a way to run the football. Yeah. And so, you know, I've seen uh, Ada, you know, the, my last four years that I coached, I saw him every year because we always played them in a half a game in that second scrimmage. And you know the thing about they always had, and they just, every year it's almost like they reloaded. They always had a, they always had big linemen. They had mm -hmm. a, a couple of receivers that were really talented, uh, a couple of defensive backs that were really special, and a case of those 5'11", 185 pound kids. Yeah. You know, they were just big, strong, Tough athletic kids. The country yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and I get, I, I hear, uh, as I understand it, they've got a kid that's a receiver that's a six, kind of a mismatch for everybody. He's either six six, something like that, and mm -hmm. uh, and you know. These, these things never tell you their they, they never tell you their height or anything, and looks to me like it could be number four or fourteen. I don't know. Well, forty four is a big tall kid. Number forty four is a big tall kid. I know from hanging around the stadium this week. Well, uh, well, that's another thing that was talked about too. Is there was a kid they hadn't seen on film last week, and then I don't know if he was hurt or whether he could, and he showed up against mm -hmm. Durant, and he was he was kind of a hammer for him. So. Uh, interesting matchup. Here's the thing. Everybody's. It every, doesn't matter what's happened in the last three weeks or four weeks. Uh, from scared, those were all practice games. Now it's time to uh, see what we're made of. Every, everybody's slate gets wiped away clean starting tonight. 
Looks like Ada will receive the kick. Um, captains were out on the field. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for kickoff. You're watching Salisaw Black Diamond Football, Mix TV. Salisaw Dental Care is the place to go for general and cosmetic dentistry, offering private rooms and state-of-the-art equipment. Salisaw Dental Care makes visits to the dentist as comfortable as possible for the whole family. As an accredited Invisalign provider, Dr. Gray can help you achieve the smile you've been dreaming of for a toothache or a routine cleaning. Their friendly staff and skilled doctors will take care of you. For a full menu of procedures and treatments Doctors Gray and Dotson offer, visit SalisawDentalCare.com. At Charlie's Chicken, you can expect a delicious variety of freshly fried chicken complemented by over 10 home-style side options along with delicious desserts. Enjoy daily specials or a signature combo meal like Charlie's Famous Chicken Chunks. Still want more? Their lunch and evening buffets are served seven days a week and filled with all your favorites. For those on the go, drop by Charlie's drive through window and ask about catering too. Warning, chicken's so good, it'll knock your socks off. Charlie's Chicken in Salisaw, 720 West Cherokee Avenue. If you find a vaping device in your teenager's possession, it might not be nicotine they're vaping. It could be THC extracts, a compound in marijuana that produces the high. Vaping marijuana or dabbing is the use of intense heat to vaporize marijuana concentrate that may contain up to 95% THC. Nicotine or marijuana extracts are not safe for teenagers as adolescent brains are still developing and these substances have negative impacts on that development. Nothing is as scary as the facts. For more information, visit salisawnow.com. And we're back here, and, and I was mistaken. We will get the football here in the south end zone to kick off the game here. As Ada will the opening kick it. We'll see Sam Kilpatrick and Sam Ashton Kilpatrick. Foster. Number 23. By the way, Lou, I forgot Foster. to tell you. We did have a winner on the uh, did we? trivia question last week. Did we? Yeah. Who was it? Bernie and Karen Byers. Oh, what was the question? <laughs> You're the one that made it up. <laughs> it was the last time. 1990. Tal Tal 1990. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, they had a son playing. Bo was buyer. playing. Yeah. That's, right. that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see number 17 out here to kick it away for the Cougars, Caden Mitchell. And we are underway here at Perry F. Lattimore Stadium as Kilpatrick will field it on his own 24. He's in a reverse field. He's got some running room. Back up the middle, across the 35 40. Still on his feet, spins to about the 43 yard line, and the diamond offense going to have good field position here as they begin their first drive of the game, led by number four, Parker Jackson. Is 84 the kicker? 17 is the kicker. 17 is the kicker. 17 trotting off over there. Okay. We'll see the diamonds out here in trips right. Shotgun formation. Watch Kilpatrick here to the to the bottom here. He's isolated out here, but they, they got him bracketed. Yeah, they got a safety. Jackson takes a snap, looks, throws outside. He's got a man intercepted. And a lot of running room here as Brock off will get to him and get him out of bounds inside the 10. That was number 22, Kinley, Carter Kinley. Excuse me, that was number 21, Darius Gilmore with the interception. He was a strong safety lined up on our middle receiver. He had, his, he had his back to the boundary. Take, he, away the, take away the the, the crack back or yeah. anything like that, but he was apexed in between he number lit, yeah. two and three, meaning he's a he's a outside linebacker out there, and he was he was right in the throwing lane. Yeah. He, did, he literally just backpedaled or shuffled back. So the Ada Cougar offense now. We'll get an opportunity. Coach, I think you're right. I think it, it may be 40, 14 over here, the big receiver for the Cougars as they'll line up under center with uh, Boyles, the quarterback, number 12, is going to give it. And a good, powerful run down inside the five to about the three. They're in their wing T package with a wing and a slot. Uh, quarterback's under center in their wing T. So we'll get a second down and goal here from about the three for the Cougars. That was a little trap play. You're going to look for your three technique, guy on the guard, and try to trap him with the fullback, with a guard so the fullback can run the ball. You see Gilmore at the back. Takes a snap. They're going to give it in. A, what a tackle in the backfield there. Might have been Noah Flores back there. 
I believe it was Dylan, Mil Miller. Dylan, Dylan Miller. Dylan Miller. Yeah. The, backfield by number 34, Dylan the linebacker, Miller. Dylan Miller, firing in there. That's, and that's going to be job. a loss of three on the play. Read that perfectly and ran through the A-gap and made the tackle. Pulled both guards. Right he he uh, ran through. And that's going to bring up a third and goal here from the six for the Cougars. Think about it. They pull both guards on their sweep. Creates run through. Shotgun formation for Boyles. Freshman takes a snap. He gives it. Gilmore is going to try to get outside. He's going to cut it back down to the one. He's going to be marked down at the about the two, they're going to call it. Got a flag. It's like whatever it is, it's going to be on Ada in there. <clears throat> Penalty on the play. Tajan. It will be on the Cougars. Illegal shift. And that'll move it back to the, let's call it the Illegal Diamond 17-yard line. So it'll be, call it the 16. We'll call it a third and goal from the 16. Third and goal from the 16. They were motioning and shifting the same play, coach. That's illegal in America. That's illegal in America. You might get away with it in Canada. I don't know, but. I think you can. Yeah. Three receivers here for the Cougars. Let's go, Black Diamonds. Got them behind the chains. They have an H back in the formation. One back, Gilmore, the running back. Yeah, they got two backs in the backfield. Number six is a fullback up there close to the right guard and right tackle. He's kind of hidden there. And the first star bank sign. Boyles takes a snap. He's going to throw it. And it is uh, good. <laughs> the kid freshman has, an, just has a great arm. But pass incomplete. Pass yeah, is going to be incomplete. Folks, that is a, uh, that's a great Down. job defensively right there for the Black Diamonds. Max Stump out there. I don't even know if he's seen the ball, Coach. That, that, was, on a, that was a rocket. So it'll be fourth down and goal here for the Cougars. That's number 14, Hughes, the receiver. Man in motion is Gilmore. Bull's going to throw it. Lobs it to the end zone. He's got a man. Gilmore, touchdown. On a fourth and goal from the 16. Touchdown, they, uh, Cougars. They flew the uh, back flashed out. the back out of the backfield, what we call spoke team. And uh, he went right now, and they run a, they run a, a, a in route with that receiver out there, and corner's got to carry it to some degree, and the linebacker's got to run with that, and you're a mismatch when you do that. It's kind of like you're always a step behind, aren't you? It's that. just a tough position. You know, Max Stump kind of, he, they let the, he was kind of in no man's land there. Do you chase the... The the the, the, uh, the skinny post, or yeah. do you know, do you jump the back out? Because here's the thing, he's got to carry the poster. It's going to be wide open too. Yeah. We got a whistle here. We got a flag. It's going to be a false start on the Cougars. So it's going to move false them back. Start on the Cougars. We'll see Mitchell here, the, uh, the kicker. It's going to be like a 24-yard field goal here. Good snap. Hold is down. Kick is up. And it is good. 10 13 left opening quarter. 7 0 Cougars. You're watching Black Diamond football on Mix TV. Now you can watch over 300 plus Black Diamond games on the Salasaw Black Diamonds website. SalasawBlackDiamonds.com is your source for everything Black Diamonds, including games from yesteryear. Go to SalasawBlackDiamonds.com, select a sport in year, choose the game you want to watch. Games from 1968 to today. Interviews with players. Watch the games you played in. The games you remember. Explore all this and more at SalasawBlackDiamonds.com. And we're back here. Cougars with a short drive there off the turnover. And we'll see uh, the Diamonds set to receive it here. Kilpatrick and Foster back deep as Mitchell will... Return Kick it away again for the Cougars. One, Senate Kilpatrick, number 23, Ashton Foster. Kick is away. It's a high kick. Foster will field it at the 26. 
He'll cut it back across the field, and he will be swarm tackled by the Cougars at about the 20-yard line. So we'll see the Diamond offense back out here after the uh, turnover on their last possession as the coal mine is uh, fired up down there tonight. They're on 20-yard line. There's a lot of them down there. A lot of miners. First and 10. Trips right for Parker Jackson, one back. Takes the snap, drops, looks right, throws right. It's got a man caught, incomplete. The drop on the play. That was um, Cooper Cox, the intended receiver, number 12. Jackson intended to number 12. Cooper Gonna bring Cox. up second down. Broken up by Deontay Lindsay. Number 22 out there, Brock Off, had a great game last week for the Diamonds at Telequal. Got him in the slot. Jackson takes a snap, looks right, steps up in the pocket, throws it outside, incomplete, looking for number 11, Charlie Martin. And that'll bring up a third down and 10 here for the Diamond offense. Southall's got uh, Quade Gardner. At center, and Noah Flores at right guard, and Stites, Nathan Stites at right tackle, Caden Cowan at left guard, and, and uh, it looks like Sides at left tackle. Creighton Sides at left tackle. Full receiver set here. Jackson drops back to throw. He's pressured. He escapes, throws it short. He's got a man, Foster. Nice catch out of the backfield. First down. And he's going to get tripped up at about the 33-yard line. So good pick up there, 13 yards for the Diamonds. Ashton Foster. Good job of avoiding the pressure. The Black Diamonds. Great job avoiding the pressure and, and finding Foster. Diamonds back up to the line of scrimmage here. Three receivers right. Takes a snap. Foster going to get it on the handoff. And he's going to gain a couple up across the 35 to the 36. Ashton Foster on the carry. Tackle by number 19, George Maddox. Maddox on the tackle there for the Cougars. Yeah, he's one of their leading the tacklers. Second Maddox is. Eight. He may be their leading tackler. Second down and about seven here for the Diamond offense. Three receivers right. <laughs> Jackson takes a snap. He's got Kilpatrick across the middle. Well, he's going to get tripped up right at the marker. Looks like it will be enough for a first down. Gain of eight on the play there on the passing catch for the Diamonds. Actually, that spot is not, not a favorable spot there. Oh, come on. We had the first down. It looked like it from the well, it's close enough. Now we do. He's no, got they, it. They moved it up. They moved it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah we so had it. will be enough to move the chains. It'll be a first down. Diamonds. Move the chains, fellas. Need, need those They're not chains doing it yet. Moved. Yeah. You got a penalty. Oh, yeah, yeah. roughing the passer. Yep. All right. Then we'll take that, too. Let's tack on 15. And the Diamonds will have it in Cougar territory at about the 40-yard line. Let's go, Diamonds. Take advantage of this. Let's go score. They've got CM bracketed down here. Big time. They're playing three on three at the top. Bracketed meaning they've got a, a defensive back underneath him and one over the top. They're not going to let him beat us by himself. Jackson drops back to throw, throws it outside. He's got a man caught. He falls down. That's a Cooper Cox. And no gain on the play. Jackson, Jackson complete to Cooper Cox. It's going to bring him second okay, down and second down ten. Ten for the Diamonds. Okay. Full receiver spread here for the Diamonds. Second and 10. Foster the back. Cougars may be showing a little blitz here from the top. Well, he tried. Yeah, here he comes. Well, we have a whistle. Will we have to burn a timeout yep. here? I believe we have a timeout on the field. 
We'll take a timeout. 8-11 left here. No, no. Delay a game. Delay a game. We didn't take a timeout. Delay a game in the Black Island. Yeah, that hanger sure showed that he was coming on number four at the top. He was uh, going to get on the, on the action in the backfield. He must have been leaning. Second down, 15. Jackson drops back to throw. Looks hit as he throws. Got a man downfield. And it's going to be incomplete. Pretty good coverage down there by uh, number seven. Number three Patrick down there. Center for Simco Patrick broken up. Number three is uh, Colton Carlock. Number yeah, seven Carlock. is DeMontre Patterson. Like we got Charlie Martin at wide out down here with Sim. And uh, Cooper Cox up top on the right with uh, Brock off to do believe. Third down, 15 here for the Diamonds. They brought pressure last time. Kilpatrick's going to get it. A little pop pass here, and it's going to be a loss of about two on the play. And that's going to bring up fourth down for the Diamond offense. So we'll see, the punt, see the punt team out. Brock off. Well, yes. We'll do the punting tonight for the Diamonds. We'll see Patterson back deep for the Cougars. Cole Stevens is personal protector. Jace Holman, number 44, is long snapping. Diamonds did a pretty good little fake punt last week as Brockoff gets this one off. It's low, short, it hits, and it takes a oh, diamond right. bounce. I believe it was touched up closer to the 20-yard line. So the Cougars, Cougars take over, 7-15 left, opening quarter, 7-0 Cougars. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. My experience with pink current enrollment was amazing. I wouldn't change anything about it. In high school, it can be difficult to uh, transition to college. What I've enjoyed most about concurrent enrollment is the scheduling. My experience with concurrent enrollment was awesome. I could better prepare myself for what was ahead. My instructors at Carlisle were very flexible, available, and they helped me achieve success. Taking too Hi, much time. I'm Ellie Martin, and I'm a yeah. senior, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Go Black Diamond. Well, we need a big guy in a big red suit out there of TV timeout. And we're back here as the Cougar offense back on the field as they give it to Gilmore. <clears throat> he follows blockers. And it looks like we're going to get a face mask here on the Diamonds. That was an ISO play. The wing back, they, they brought him inside, inserted him into B or C gap as a lead blocker on an ISO concept. Just like a fullback leading a tailback through an inside hole. Yeah, Coach. Uh, uh, Face mask on the black diamonds. Bo Byers, that was him on film a few weeks ago on the tackle. Yeah, the, on the, the play McGrew, of yesteryear. That, that McGrew got credit for. That McGrew got credit for. Now, McGrew did. Now, McGrew does have tackles, okay, and runs. I've got them, but I'm mistaken. That was Bo Byers on that big hit well, you're two, gonna have two take, weeks ago. You're going to have to take his mom and dad to lunch because, you know, uh, you got the uh, wrong guy. And Boyle's deep ball down the field. He's got a man wide open. Hughes caught it. Touchdown, Cougars. Nice, nice ball there from Boyles, the freshman quarterback, to uh, Hughes. Use the big, tall, wide receiver, 6'6". Six, six. Now we'll see the Cougars attempt the point after. Mitchell out to attempt it here. Hold is down, kick is up, and it is good. 6.56 left here, good. opening quarter. Cougars 14, Diamond 0. You're watching Mix TV, you're home for Black Diamond football. Comfortable isn't the first word most people think of when they think about a dentist visit, but Aesthetic Dental Institute is different. Dr. Henshaw has been serving the community for over 25 years with expert dentistry. 
For cleanings and preventative care, IV and oral conscious sedation, cosmetic dentistry, bleaching, Invisalign, restorations, and even Botox, Aesthetic Dental Institute offers modern dentistry in a relaxed and calm environment. Schedule your complimentary consultation at salisawdentist.com. As the Diamonds will receive it here, we're back. 6.56 left, opening quarter. 14 to nothing. Cougars with the lead here. Um, good arm on a uh, quarterback there from the Cougars. We were just talking up here. And Jay, he, like he's, I said, like I said, if he's, he's a, if he's a freshman, he is a very, very talented, a very special freshman. And He'll the thing about it is, three more years of him, and when he gets coarse leg hair on his body, he could really be a force in this district. We'll see Mitchell kick it away here. Kilpatrick and Foster back deep for the Diamonds. It's high short kick, fair catch called for, dropped. It looks like he got on the football there. Was uh, We have it. Black Diamonds came up with it there. And they will start their drive here on the 35 yard line. So we'll see Parker Jackson back out. Pretty good, uh, pretty good little drive last time until it stalled. Yeah, we need to move the chains. Make a first down right here. Think nothing else. Make a first down. Diamond's going to go a little bigger here. Got an H back in there. Three receivers. Takes a snap. The give. Cole Stevens up the middle. Running hard. He's going he's to scratch out about three yards on the play. He's going to bring up Cole Stevens. Second down and seven. Let's give him four. It's called second and six. Number 19, George Good Maddox. four yards. People are averaging four and a half yards per carry four. against them for the season. Now the thing about it is we got to be able to string these together. Yeah, we do. Second down here, Diamonds still in the three receiver look. That's got to be on them. Help, that's on us. Going to get a little movement up front. I believe it's on the diamonds. You get a false start. And this is, you know, this is something that's that's plagued us all, all, you know, all four weeks. Is these penalties that put us behind the chains? Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we go and make four yards, and we're sitting there to second and six, and now we're, you know, we're sitting here in second and twelve. Diamond stay with the three receiver look here. Takes a snap. Cole Stevens going to get it. Going to get hit right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up a third and about 11 here Cole for the Diamond Stevens offense. Perry, tackled by Fisher Marr. Third down, 11 for the Black Diamonds. We got Chance Rich in there at fullback with Cole. Cole's at tailback. I think that looks like Braxton Lamb. Braxton, Braxton Lamb's Braxton H-back, Lamb. yep. Yep, H-back okay. tied in, yep. Three receivers here. Jackson takes a snap. He's pressured. He escapes, breaks a tackle, gets outside, throws it short, incomplete, looking for Sim Kilpatrick on the sideline. And that'll bring up fourth down here for the Diamond offense. Fourth down for the Black Diamond. Cougars getting a little pressure. Well, I'll tell you what, the, you know, the thing about it is that they've brought in two different sets of defensive linemen. So that, you know, that, that second series we saw a group, and now this is a whole different group. This is the this is these guys aren't as big as that first group they ran in there, but they're fresh and they've got white knuckles in the dirt and they're coming off the ball. Brock off out here to punt it away. Patterson, the deep man for the Cougars. Good snap off collects it, gets it off high kick. It's going to hit take a diamond bounce inside the 30 right at the 30 and it will be down. Cougars take over 530 left opening quarter. Cougars up 14 to nothing. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. When you're in a hurry and hungry, just pull your car into Diamond Express, 712 South Curve Boulevard for Salisaw's best breakfast on the go. You're going to love the food, the big burritos, the biscuit sandwiches, the breakfast platters, and the best biscuits and gravy around. Yum! Diamond Express is well stocked with all your favorites. Great food, yummy snacks, hot and cold beverages, lottery tickets, and much more. When you need fuel for your body or fuel for your car, come into Diamond Diamond Express, 712 South Kerr Boulevard in Salisaw. And we're back here. 5.30 left opening quarter. Cougars with the football. May not have time, huh? 
We're all right. We got plenty of time. Boyles under center, empty backfield. Man in motion is Patterson. He's going to get it. He's going to follow blocker. He's going to get outside. He's going to get the corner, and he's going to be out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. We do have a flag down on the play. Patterson with the carry. Looks like it's going to be possibly a hold on the Cougars. They didn't Co have. Coach, hey, what about a play of yesterday? We got a play of yesteryear, oh, Joe. Parker. Play number one. This is from uh, 1968 at Stillwell. Mr. Clinton Falls takes a. Oh, no. This is the punt return. No, coach. this is. Uh, let me tell you who that is. That's uh, Ty Martinez. That's Ty Martinez. I was. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want to think. I think that's Blaine Kilnich. Could to be. To be honest with you, I Could thought it be. was Ty Martinez. And, you know, yeah. Ty. There was one of them. Uh, Ty is. Uh, I think that was. I think that was Blaine Kilnich right there. But I, I, I tell you what, you know, we had for three years Ty Martinez, and part of his freshman year was a returner back there that was sure handed. And, I actually spoke to him today. Gilmore with the give, and he's going to get hit in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard Gilmore. on the play. Tackle so play. after the holding the penalty and the uh, the negative rush there for Gilmore, it's going to bring up second and about 17 here for the Cougar offense. Got them behind the chains. Yes. yes. Go ahead, Coach. Yes. But anyway, Ty's doing really well. He's second a broken down, arrow. 17. He graduated from Northeastern. He's did, got his... Uh, that's the reason not working as a – I'm not going to get this title right because it's about four different words. I'm just going to get the last two right. He's an occupational therapist. Okay. But I tell you what, what a great young man. And, yeah. And, and, boy, I tell you what, you know, a, a, a three-year starter for us. And I really thought that was him in the beginning. But when I look at it tonight, that's Kilnich. Boyle's going to throw it down the field, hit as he throws. It's going to be caught on the sideline. Let's see if he was in bounds. Nope, they're saying he was out of bounds. So that will bring up – no, they're moving it down the field. We got a replay on that, Joe? No replay? Oh, we do have a replay. A McDonald's replay, Coach. I love McDonald's. Good pressure off the edge there. And a one-handed grab. I don't know how they call that a catch. I thought that was out of bounds. It was foot that landed. It was Jack Morris on the, on the reception there for the... Cougars. That was his. Uh, that was his right foot that landed after the reception. That's I don't yes. know what they're looking That's at. That's how I saw it too. So first and ten for the Cougars. As they're going to go out of the pistol here. Man in motion. Boyles takes the snap, turns. Gilmore on the stretch play, spins. But he's not going to get anything spin. Tell you what, Diamonds had good pursuit in the backfield and a good spin move there by Gilmore just to try to get anything out of it, and he's going to lose a yard on the play. They ran an outside zone Gilmore play, a little stretch play right there, Mills. and that uh, center didn't climb to the second yeah. level and let that linebacker run straight through, yeah. which is a really good instinctive play there by Miller. They're doing a good job of pressing the line of scrimmage, the linebackers are. Against the wing tee while they go and against that stretch play. They're running downhill. That's good. Boyles takes a snap, pressure off the edge, screen pass, and a good Cole job Stevens there. Cole Stevens yeah. waiting on it as he will be stacked up, and he may get a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a third. It's going to bring up a third and ten here for the Darius Gilmore Cougar Tackle offense. Third and nine, we'll call it. We got uh, number third 60, Caden Pollard, coming in the game with uh, Noah Flores, two fresh defensive linemen out there with uh, – with uh, Patrick Mills. So we got Chance Rich and an outside linebacker. Three receiver set, play action. Boyle's looking down the field again, throws it up for his receiver. He's going to be definitely be out of bounds this time as he catches it out of bounds, and that will bring up fourth down. So good job by the Diamond defense settling in here. Playing some good run defense. We've been playing some good run defense tonight. We'll see Sim Kilpatrick deep for the Diamonds. So we got the Sim big receiver Patrick out there. Deep the punt. Hughes, he's going to do the punting chores tonight here for the Cougars. Got Brock off you, back there, too. Ada doesn't travel as well as what they used to in years past. Punt is a way. It's a high punt. Kilpatrick calls for the fair catch and takes it. He's going to take a hit, and that's going to be a flag. There we go. Marat. So Diamond's going to get a little extra yardage here after the uh, fair Better catch. Taking my sin, Phil Patrick. Flag on the play. And 
we'll add on some extra, extra yards here for the Diamonds. Well, we know we got people watching from uh, Memphis, Tennessee tonight and uh, Phoenix, Arizona and San Angelo, Texas and Western Oklahoma. Got plenty of them watching from Western Oklahoma. Yes, we do. I got to check in on that Putnam City Lawton High score. Yes. And we've got a lot of scores we've got to check in on tonight. Yeah, we do. So first and 10 for the Diamonds. They'll have it on their own 34. Diamonds come out in a five receiver set empty. A lot of time left in this game. Three minutes left in the first quarter. It's like Makai McMillian also in the ball game at receiver for the Diamonds. Jackson takes a snap. Well, he's bull rushed. And he's going to get dropped in the backfield. He's going to lose. Pretty big loss on the play there. You have no time for Parker Jackson there. Well, we had five, five man protection. We may, they may have decided they're going to bring six. Five or six. He gets a five man protection. Makes it well, tough. Well, I think he was hit by about three. Yeah, yeah it makes it tough right there. <laughs> it's going to be a loss of about eight on the plate. It's going to bring up second down 18 here for the Diamonds. Diamonds staying empty. Shotgun formation. Jackson takes the snap. Quick throw outside. He's got a man caught. He's going to get hit right at the 30 and taken down. Cooper Cox. Pass to Parker Jackson. Complete to Cooper Cox. So he's going to pick up about four, maybe four, Morris maybe five on the play. Going to bring up third down here for the Diamonds. For the Black Diamonds. Two minutes remaining here, opening quarter. Diamonds with a third and 13 situation. Looks like Ada's going to bring some people here. Jackson gets out of the pocket hit as he throws it downfield. He's got Cox incomplete. Patterson in coverage. Pass incomplete. And I'll bring up fourth down here for the Diamonds. You see Brock off back out. To punt it away. Patterson will be the deep man for the Cougars. Patterson deep to receive the punt. Bobbles the snap. Off just going to run it around the end. And he's going to pick up a few yards, but it will be a turnover on down. So the Cougars take over. 131 left here, opening quarter. Cougars 14, turnover Diamond 0. Down. You're watching Cougars. Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Since 1907, Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families with compassion and attention to detail. When you experience the loss of a loved one, trust Agent Mallory Martin to guide you through the process of honoring your loved one's life with dignity. With over 100 years of experience in all facets of funeral service, Agent Mallory Martin will help you celebrate your loved one in a way that would make everyone proud. Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving your family from one generation to the next. There. Gilmore gets it on the give, and he's going to have a first down and more as he's finally tackled. Parker Pratt over there. Yeah. Brought him down in the Gilmore secondary. On the carry. About to 20. We got a fumble. Parker Pratt comes up with the football, but I think they're going to mark him down. That must have been a trap or a sweep they busted there. It, it does make the district interesting, guys. Well, you know, you know thing is, I mean, it does. It, it, it makes the. You know, here's what I think you've got is you've got uh, these guys now in the mix. You've got Poto, you've got Broken Bow, you've got Hilda. We all knew those three were going to be pretty good. Now you've got these two. Now you've got us in Fort Gibson. And uh, and I and I, I tell you, it's it's there's – I'm not going to sit here and say tonight who uh, – who those all could beat each other. Yeah. You know, every one of them. Yeah. These, sure, these guys sure have enough firepower to be a force in our district. They do. Gilmore on the run there for the Cougars. He'll gain about – Two. We'll bring up third down, eight. Third down and Cougar. eight here for the Cougar offense. No score out of the Medill Broken Bow game and Poto Fort Gibson. It says it's just starting. That must be a must have been a 7:30 start time tonight. Yeah. 
Three receivers. Boyles in the shotgun, one back, two back, excuse me. Do a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout. 27 timeout. seconds left, Cougars. opening quarter. Cougars 14, Diamond Zero. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. For 40 years, Stavely Insurance has been the go-to company when it comes to keeping you and yours protected. They specialize in commercial insurance as well as home, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, farm, and life. Stavely Insurance is a brokerage. That means they shop for you, finding the best coverage at the best price while offering convenient monthly payments. The problem solvers at Stavely Insurance concern themselves with your coverage, so you don't have to. Stavely Insurance, 204 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Hi, I'm senior Kelsey Merrill, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Go Black Diamond! We're back here live from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. Second down, seven here for the uh, for the Cougars with 27 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Diamonds trailing 14 to nothing. Cougars. Looking pretty good so far. Looking like a district contender here tonight. Second down, eight for the Cougars. See the Diamond defense get fired up here. Three receivers set, two backs. Boyles takes the snap, gives it to Gilmore. He breaks a tackle, and he's going to fall forward inside the 15. So they're going to spot him down to about the 13. So it's going to bring up a third and two. Third and three, we'll call it for the uh, Gilmore, for the Cougars. Tackle by Levi Sanders. He hit up in there on what was a, was not a huge crack. Third down three for the Cougars. to run through. Into the first. Into the first quarter Cougars, here from 14, Perry F. Lattimore Stadium, Eddie Cougars, zero. 14, Salisaw Black Diamonds, zero. You're watching Salisaw Black Diamond Football, Mix TV. Show your hometown pride with a school spirit debit card from First Star Bank. Each time you make a purchase with your school spirit debit card, First Star Bank will make a donation to your school district. You make a purchase, they make a donation. Everyone wins. Support your school with First Star Bank's school spirit debit card. First Star Bank has donated over $100,000 to local schools through the school spirit program. Debit cards may be ordered online at firststar-bank.com. I got you. I may be wrong. I, I, you know, and I'm just saying that I just think, you know, I don't know. Never know. Here we go. We're back, aren't we? We are back. 14 to nothing Cougars as we begin the second quarter, and it will be a big third down here for the Diamond defense to try to get the Cougar offense off the field. It's going to be about a third, I think about a third and three for the Cougar offense. We got an overseas watcher tonight, folks. Sherry Hudson, watching from Tokyo, Japan. All right. She works for the NBA, and I guess she's uh, got a project she's working on overseas. And uh, she could have sent me. She could have stayed here at the game, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Where's she at? Japan. Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. Two receivers, power set here. As we'll see, just a quarterback power play here from number three, Carlock, the sophomore in there, quarterback, the, so the sophomore quarterback who got his first snap. Carlock. Looks like he's more of a. Uh, so he must be the more, Wildcat guy. Yeah, he's the Wildcat guy, I guess. Going to stay in at receiver here. Not staying at quarterback. He is. Carlock in there. Number 10 is a uh, Mar in the backfield, number 10. And they're going to give it to Patterson. And he's going to get taken out of bounds. Pretty good job over there defensively by Sim Kilpatrick. Setting that Patterson edge and getting him out of bounds. Taken out of bounds. Sim he's going to bring up second and goal. Second down and goal. Looks like the ball's at about the five yard line. Job out there by the band tonight. I thought the band was, uh, you know, I thought we thought they were in that north end zone, right? They there. used to be. I got that. Second Joe. and goal here for someone. the What's Cougar offense. Boyle's back in there at quarterback. And we're 
going to get a whistle here and a timeout. Eddie going to take timeout. one. We'll Cougar. take one. 11 26 left opening quarter. Cougars 14, Diamond 0. And you're watching Mix TV, your home for Salisaw Black Diamond football. How may I help you? And have a great day. Those phrases aren't taken lightly at Best Mart, 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Couple that service with delicious food like homemade biscuits and gravy, breakfast burritos, lots of fried goodies, and a huge selection of beverages, and you have a winning combination. When you're on the east side and you want some quick, delicious food, your favorite snack, or just need fuel, you can't beat Best Mart. At Best Mart, we try to live up to our name every day. Come see why today at 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw. And we're back. We're back here, Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. And it is a full house, as you can see on your screen tonight here for the uh, homecoming festivities. View updates on some scores. Still well, up on Hilldale, six to nothing. The first quarter with 10 minutes left. Uh, Poto well, still up on Fort Gibson, 14 to nothing, and no score from Broken Bow Medill. I'm interested in that score. I'm interested to see what the deal is all about. Yeah, I, I am too. Boyle's back in here at quarterback for the Cougars. Patterson in motion. They're going to give it to him on a jet sweep, and he's going to try to get to the end zone, and he's going to dive well, for the pile. We've got flags here. coming in everywhere. I think you're right, Coach. I think we might have a hold out there. That's well, good. Back him up. Make a second goal to 14 now. Yeah, we'll move it back to about the 15 yard line. It'll be second and goal. Second and goal from the 15 after the penalty. Okay, Lou, here's a trivia question for you. Mm -hmm. How do they get the big red fire truck down there in the end zone? They drive that down here every day, every Friday? Yeah. Oh, they come through that gate behind us. Marr gets a carry right at, to the right. He's going to be in for a touchdown. And another got another flag. flag. Got to hold again. It looks like that hold's going to be right at the two-yard line. Holding on the Cougars. So let's back it up. Let's make it a second and goal from the from the 12 second this time. The 12. Make them snap it again. You never know what's going to happen. Boyles with Mar in the backfield. The give. Right, He's going to get outside. Again. He's going to get to the corner. Not sure he got in. He might have been out of bounds. Touchdown. No, oh, touchdown, Cougars. Touchdown, Cougars. Number 10, Fisher Mar. Look like the little. I, I, look like I don't, yeah, one back. I thought that was a little inside zone right there, and he just bends it out the back door. And we'll see Mitchell out here to attempt the point after. Low snap, kick is up, and it is good. 10.50 left, second quarter. Cougars 21, Diamond Excellent. Zero. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Do you care for an aging loved one? Are you concerned about them and their daily welfare? Call Peter's Agency for personalized and compassionate home health and hospice care. Peter's Agency is available right now. Together, you can create a caring plan for your loved one. From dressing and grooming to meals and transportation, your loved one will feel comfortable and cared for. A solution is simple and only a phone call away. Peter's Agency provides comprehensive family-oriented health care with the belief that care with prayer changes things. It had to, you know, it, you know, We're it had back to. here, 10.50 left here in the second quarter. 
Cougars up 21 to nothing. We'll see uh, Mitchell out here to kick it away. Be a high short kick. It's going to be dropped at the 36, but it looks like the Diamonds got back on it there. And the Diamonds will take over on their own 36 yard line. 10 49 left here in the uh, second quarter. We'll see the Diamond offense back out here in the field. Let's look at these scores. I see Dell City's up big on East Central, which it's not surprising, but I did see that kid from, uh, well, I was watching uh, ESPN before I came to the game tonight, and they have that. It was IMG? IMG. Yeah. Did you see number 90? I, I didn't. He's, I, from, I was, he's from Dell City. Is it David Stone? Is that? I don't know his I name. Think it's Stone, even, even, yeah. if I, even if you told me, I wouldn't know, but all this yeah. is all I know is Dell City hadn't dropped off much, and he is quite the player at IMG. Diamonds come out with five receivers stacked. Jackson drops back to throw, throws it outside. He's got a man, Charlie Martin, with the catch. And he's going to get taken down at about the 42-yard line. So gain of six on the play Charlie Martin. for the Diamonds. Good route, good catch by Charlie. Deontay Lindsay. Good throw by Parker Jackson. Two seniors there Second working down. together. They've been playing together. At least stack. five little, or six years. Yeah, got a little stack set up here at the top. Diamond's going to stay in it. Five receivers. Jackson takes a snap. Gets rid of it outside. He's got Kilpatrick. Well, he's not going to have much on the play. He's going to bring up third and about Kilpatrick. four here for the Diamonds. Lindsey and Maddox on the tackle. Third down and four for the Black Diamonds. Third and four. Diamonds got Kilpatrick now in the backfield. Three receivers to the right. McMillian. Looks like we're going to get a whistle and a flag, maybe a maybe a false start here on the Diamonds. I don't know. Maybe it's on the false start on the Black Diamonds. Cougars. Well, no, because they're walking backwards. <clears throat> I didn't see who jumped there. So to make it a third and nine now for the Diamond offense. Three receivers right. Cougar showing blitz. Gets it outside, incomplete. Kilpatrick wasn't looking for it. That's going to be, uh, it's going to bring up fourth down here for the Diamond offense. T what? Jackson, he's having to get rid of it fourth quick. Down, a lot of pressure nine. in the backfield from the Cougars. I don't know if we had a miscommunication there between the quarterback and, and receiver, but he was ready to throw, you know, immediately when he got his hands on the ball. Sometimes that pressure speeds up that quarterback's internal clock. It does, not It does indeed, Lou. Great statement there. We'll see Patterson back deep here for the Cougars. Good punt by Brockoff, and he's going to have a chance to return it here from his 24. Got a clip on there. He's going to run it right. He's going to be out of bounds across the 30. They clipped Ashton about the 30, 28-yard line. There's a flag down on the play. We'll see the Ada offense. They'll be they're going to move them back. I really like how these guys are calling the game. I wonder if we could get them to go on the road with us. <laughs> if you're the driver of a gray Buick back behind the home stadium, we ask that you please move your car. You're blocking in someone trying to leave. Thank you. Uh, it's going to move it back to the 20-yard uh, line. That's where the uh, Cougars will take over. First and, ten. First and ten. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see Boyles and company back out here on the field. 
I believe. Two two backs. Boyles drops back to fast, throws it downfield. He's got a man overthrown. Incomplete. Intended for number 84. That's uh, Cooper Patterson, the senior. Good coverage back there. Parker Pratt for the Diamonds. And it'll bring up second down for the Cougars. That's a complete second down 10 for the Cougars. How many plays from yesteryear you got today, Lou? Four. Yeah, four. Gilmore up the middle, running hard. Looks like he's going to have a Cougar first down up to the 30-yard line. Yeah, we have four every week. Gilmore on the carry. Four every game. Guys, keep us. For the I'm going to need you to be more prepared on which one's coming up. So, you know. Oh, I know. The one that. Uh, now you let me down on that one. That I was looking forward to seeing Clinton fall. That one was supposed to be second uh, second quarter, the one we saw. Gotcha. Clinton was going to be uh, supposed to be you first You know, I quarter. don't know where he is. He graduated with my brother, yeah. Jeff. And I don't I don't yeah. know who. Uh, and and I he, he joined the Air Force. That's the last I've heard of. Is that right? I don't know if he's been back for any reunion. Think he joined right out of high school? I, I think so. Okay. But boy, what a what a good high school running back he was. Yeah. Had him and Orndorf back there together. Well, for his junior year, yes. Oh, his okay. His senior year, he was the feature back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Offsides on the black diamonds. We line up one in the neutral zone, I guess. I missed the play. Did we do that or we jump, yep. Brad? There's offsides lined up. It's going to be first and five here for the Cougar offense. Three receivers, two backs. Gilmore going to get it. He's going to run right into the back of one of his offensive linemen there. He's going to scratch out about a yard on the play. Pretty good job there. Cole Stevens in there. On the carry. Kiowa Kaufman and Mikey Most coming into the game. Kiowa number 33. Play Second linebacker. For the Cougars. And Mikey Most play uh, defensive line. You know, I tell you, somebody's been silent tonight on on, uh, on offense. I didn't have a look for it. That's uh, Cooper Jackson. I'd seen. Uh, I haven't seen him out there much. I've seen uh, Cooper Cox out there more tonight. Okay. okay. Maybe trying to keep him from keep him fresh. Yeah. Not probably, playing him both probably, ways as much. Say, I would probably say that that is the that is the uh, plan tonight. Cooper was in there on that last tackle though for the Diamonds. Second down, four here for the Cougars. Two backs, three receivers. Play action. Throws it downfield, a lot of air under it, up for Hughes. And he's going to, it's going to be incomplete, but might have a pass interference here. Pass incomplete. As Max Stump was Flying in coverage the there for the Diamonds. That's tough. To, that's tough. That's a tough ball to cover. The ball came out and it's kind of fluttering. He didn't get on top of that ball. And, and when he threw it, you know, we were a step behind. And when he tries to adjust, we didn't get our head turned and, and uh, run into him. The crowd does not like this call. Nor do I. It is pass interference against us, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're going to uh, they're gonna march, they're gonna march, march it off. off. Yep. And it's going to put the ball on the diamond 47-yard line. First and 10 for the Cougars. 7.25 left here, second quarter. I didn't see anybody gain an advantage. Well, I think, you know, that old thing is if he didn't get his head turned around, you know, then, then it's odd. I mean, that's what this thing is coming to is that it's uh, not letting them compete for the ball and play it out. It's uh, if you don't get your head turned around, it just means it's automatically pass interference. Gilmore with the carry. He's going to be inside the 45 to the 44, the gain of about three Ian on the play. Pollard. Second down for the Cougars. Seven. Sanders and uh, Cowan back in the game. The defensive line for the Black Diamonds. Along with Patrick Mills. Coleman getting fired up down there. Trying to get this defense into it. Dylan Mill, excuse me, no, that's Caden Cowan in the backfield with a nice sack on the play. Caleb Cowan. Fire off the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a big loss for the Cougars. That's going to back them up to their own 46 with the McDonald's replay coach. I tell you, this is just Caleb County. It's, you know, he split the double team. They, they, they actually, 
He had the guard and the tackle. With each that had a hand on him. He just spurts it and uh, gets right to the, the quarterback. Cougars. Nice play by Cowan right there. Third down, 17 for the Cougar offense. Now here he's been battling a little bit of strep throat this week. That's tough. Nothing that good antibiotics can't cure, right? That's right. Three receivers. Referee with a whistle. They're going to back him up again. They had a left guard or left tackle. Delay a game. Delay a game. Oh, delay a game. <clears throat> yeah, delay a game. So it'll move him back five. That's move somebody. It'll move it back to the 41 of the Cougars. It's going to make it a fourth and 22. All right. Not a lot of plays in the playbook for this one, is our coach. Well, let's get after him here. Swing pass outside, incomplete. Gilmore, the intended pass receiver. Intended for Gilmore, incomplete. Fourth down for the Cougars. And that'll bring up fourth down. So we'll see the punt team out. Hughes and the Cougar special teams unit. As we will see, Sim Kilpatrick deep for the Diamonds. Good job by the Diamond on the defense right there, getting get getting off the field. Andrew Hughes on the punt for the Cougars. Brock off Sim Kilpatrick deep for the Black Diamonds. Another flag here. Legal substitution on the uh, Cougars. So. Back them up some more. Just I know we got. I know we had some stats, but I, we didn't have any penalty stats, did we? Oh, we might have. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah. A lot of uh, they. Uh, we did. Highly penalized team, Cougars. They, they really have been this evening. Yeah, I got some. I got that somewhere. Hughes takes a snap. Diamonds pressure. Gets it off a good punt. Kilpatrick calls for the fair catch. No, he doesn't. He's gonna take it. And he's going to reverse field. And that's looked like a uh, face mask right there. Get thrown Did down they not the get the face field. mask? I, I didn't see it. So a great punt. Flip the field as the diamond offense will come back out here. The Cougars have been averaging seven penalties per game. Well, they got seven in the first quarter. They've been, yeah, they they got, been averaging yeah, seven half. penalties. For 60 yards per and game. And I tell you what, I don't know how you missed that field face mask right there. Sim mm -hmm. even tried to explain, make his case at the end. You know, a kid's reaction is really always pretty correct when he, you know, he got thrown oh, to yeah. the ground right there and he's grabbing his face mask, yeah. trying to adjust his helmet. I don't know how he missed that. First and ten, fumble. It looks like the Cougars are on it. So one play and Diamonds turn it over. Fumble on the play, recovered. And now the Cougar offense back out here on the field. 5.37 left, second quarter, Cougars 21, Diamond 0. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pond can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pond has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Patterson with the give, and he's going to run right into his own guy. He's going to have a... First down and more down to about the 10 <coughs> yard line. That young man has an extra Martin gear. Patterson well, I tell you what, when he hit that crease, he uh, he had yeah. jets up his fanny right there. He did. Actually, he's going to be knocked out of bounds about a yard shy of a first down. It's going to bring up second and one for the Cougar offense. Second down one for the Cougar. I see Cash keeps out there on defense, probably the outside linebacker. With. Um, Patrick Mills and Caden Pollard. Bulls under center, takes a snap. He's going to give it. Nice run outside and a good tackle by Kilpatrick there. Possibly a touchdown saving carry. Saving tackle there by Kilpatrick. Well, he get, you, get him on the ground, Sam. First and goal from the seven. He's going to bring up a first and goal. That looks like one of our former Black Diamonds right there. Is that Cole Tom Spencer? 
That's Colton. That's Colton Spencer. That's uh, Cotton Spencer. That's Cotton Spencer. That's Cotton Spencer right <laughs> there. That's right. I didn't recognize him. First and goal, Bulls under center. Takes a snap to give to Gilmore. He dances his way forward, but he's going to get st stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. I'll tell you what, that was right there. Defense fit perfectly right there. That, that, or that running back, when you stop your feet at the line of scrimmage, you're not going anywhere. Gilmore, and he, he was stopped in his tracks. He had nowhere to run. Well, we've got him to uh, second down. Second goal. Second goal with eight. Ah, they're going wide, fellas. No, they're not. Gilmore up the middle, dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Cougars. Number 21, Darius Gilmore. The touchdown run. <clears throat> So Mitchell out here to attempt the point after. After the Gilmore touchdown. Got another whistle here. Gonna have a, we're gonna have a false start here on the, false start on the Cougars. Let's move it back five yards. Hold is down, kick is up, and it is good. 4.32 left here, second quarter, Cougars 28, Diamond Zero. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Coach, before we go to commercial here, what about, a, what about another play from yesteryear? Yeah, Joe, we got a play from yesteryear. Play of yesteryear. This is Terry, Terry Sanders. Sanders. Yeah, a I drop play. that guy. Yeah. In 1979, up at Stillwell. See Richard Hawkins and Steve Ivey. Yep. A lot of old guys. James there. Kintner. Northeastern Health System in Salisaw realizes we all have choices in health care. When we are healthy, we laugh harder, we work better, and we take care of each other. So why not choose a hospital that cares for you and your community? You have choices. Choose personal, respectful, and compassionate care at Northeastern Health System in Salisaw. Your right choice for health care, right here at home. We're back here, 432 left second quarter as the Cougars are set to kick it off. We'll see Mitchell out here do the honors. High short kick. It's going to be fair caught at the 34-yard line by Charlie Martin. And we'll see the diamond offense back Charlie out Martin here on the field. 432 left. Coach, you had a broken bow. Medill score. Yeah, broken bow's up 14 to nothing on Medill. Fort Gibson is uh, down 27 to seven at Poto, and surprisingly. The Stillwell Indians are uh, up six to three on Hilldale uh, in the second quarter. And it's at Hilldale. That's look, a shocker. Look, looking for the upset. Trips right for the Diamonds here. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap. Play action. Throws it outside. Incomplete. Like uh, Charlie Martin might have been the intended receiver. Bring up second down. Shotgun formation. Trips right. Gonna get a penalty flag down. It's going to be offsides on the Cougars, it appears. Offsides on the Cougars. Second down, five. Make it a second down and five here for the Diamond offense. Diamond's going to stray with trips to the bottom of your screen. 
Looks like Brown in there at running back for the uh, Diamonds. Brown, yeah. Takes a snap. Jackson throws it short, intended for the the back out of the backfield. Brown, it's going to be incomplete. It's uh, That's a cousin to one of our former Browns. Uh, uh, Ty Tr Tristan Brown. Huh? That's Tristan Brown's first cousin. They're Is that right? Brothers, yes. That's okay. uh, that's Tristan Brown's first cousin. I didn't see that name on the roster. Five. I didn't know. He's kin to Tristan. First cousins with Tristan. First cousin. All right. His dad's Tony. Okay. Uh, passed away last last uh, spring, I think. Last fall, maybe. And then uh, Tristan, who played for us when we had that Brown package. You yeah. Know, yeah. Really good linebacker. The Brown dozer. Throw outside. Yeah. yeah. Cole Stevens on the reception. He's gonna he's gonna lose a couple. Gary's he's gonna his lose, dad. Gonna lose That's a yard on the play. Yeah. Yeah. Gary. Yeah. Play. Fourth down. Gonna bring it fourth Somebody down around. for the Diamonds. Fourth and six. I did not know that. I didn't know. I, I didn't know who who Ty was. You know these legacies, Lou. Yeah, I know. I know. There's a there's a, some of them I do not know. See Patterson back deep here. Oft. It's the pun off, and it's going to go out of bounds. I think that was partially tipped. That might have been partially a, blocked I, there. I think he got a hand on it. It's going to go out of bounds. They're going to mark it at about the, about the 45. Nope, they're walking it back up. Going to mark it at about the 40, 49 yard line. So with 342 Cougar left, possessed. Cougar First offense is going to have. Pretty good field position here. Oh, or as I heard a guy say one time, the 51-yard line. 51, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I uh, didn't know what to think about that, that one. That wasn't me, was it? <laughs> no. No. Huh? That wasn't anybody in our telecast. All right. I might have been on a headset one time <laughs> when I was a young coach. The guy said, well, we got the ball. And he said, we got it at the 51 or 52. And I was like, okay, might need to educate him on that. Three receivers here for the Cougars. Boyles drops back to throw. Pump fakes. Throws it down the field. He's got a man wide open. Caught. Touchdown, Cougars. Nice throw there by Touchdown Boyles. For the Cougars. Pass from Brock Boyles. What do you need, Coach? The Jack Moore. Roster. Yep, that was number four. Morris on the reception. See another young one? Senior. Every, every, oh, thank goodness. Every time I look at that roster, yeah. it says freshman, sophomore, junior on it from Ada. Mitchell out here, kick the point after. Hold it down, kick is up, and it's good. 3.33 left here, second quarter. Cougars 35, point. Black Diamond good. 0. You're watching Black Diamond Football from Mitchell. Mixed TV. Cinco's Grilling Cantina is Salazar's home for great Mexican food and live music. Cinco's features amazing chile verde, fajitas, authentic street tacos, loaded baked potatoes, great drinks, and much more. Like them on Facebook for yummy specials, shopping events, and concerts. Plus, Cinco's Banquet and Event Center is available for wedding receptions, birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, and meetings. Cinco's Grilling Cantina, 230 North Oak in Salazar. And remember, work hard, be kind, eat tacos. Hi, I'm Kara Epler, an SHS senior, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on the Mix TV. We're back. 3.33 left. You know, Second quarter. You know, fellas, I look out there in that north end zone back there, and I see, uh, I think I see Tyler Kenoki and Bill Wilson out there camped out among the trees. I bet you that they are in the uh, pickup trucks. Yeah, that looks yeah. like, this looks like yeah. little Tyler. I talked little, to little Tyler little, Kenoki this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, yeah did he you? He contacted me, yeah. He did? Yeah, he texted me. Yeah. I can't even imagine what that might have been about. And uh, Bill Wilson. He's, uh, I haven't Wilson. seen him in a while, the punter. Yep, Hammerhead yes. Bill Wilson. Yes. As a son, uh, Levi. Mitchell. Okay. Yes. Out here, kicks it off. Parker Pratt will fair catch it at the 26. Yeah. And that's where the Diamonds will take over. Good kid. Okay, the Diamonds, I see uh, 66. We're going on offense, aren't we? We've got Mr. Stites and Caden Cowan, 
Probably the same offensive line out there. Who we got at receiver? We got Charlie, Cooper Cox, Brock Oft, CM up top, into the boundary. Shotgun formation for the Diamonds. Foster, the running back. Jackson takes a snap. He's pressured, and he's going to get sacked inside the 15, inside the 20, inside the 15, down to about the 14-yard line where they're going to mark it. Sack of the play. By it's going to be a big loss on the play. It's going to bring up second down and long here for the Diamonds. Takes a snap, throws it outside. Foster breaks a tackle, makes a move up across the 15, out of bounds at about the 16-yard line. Pass from so gain of a couple on the play. Foster. Cougars with a lot of outside of speed, a lot of good pursuit. Well, they, I tell you what, they they are uh, they're a lot better than I think anybody anticipated them being. Maybe they were the only ones that really thought how good they could be. They are tough defensively. Offensively as well. But well, I tell you what, losing their starting quarterback last week and then coming in, this kid has uh, shown that he can he can handle a job. Four receivers here for the Diamonds. Jackson drops back to throw, steps up in the pocket, and he's going to get sacked at the 10-yard line. Now to bring up fourth down here for the Diamonds. See Brock off back out here, punt it away. Patterson going to be the deep man for the Cougars. He's going to be, he's going to stand just, just inside the 50 yard line. Black diamonds or the, 50, tight the 51 yard line. Foot to foot. Punts it, it's a low short kick, hits, takes a diamond bounce. Patterson will muff it. There at about the 47-yard line. Good, good coverage. Flag. Good coverage there by the Diamonds. As and he's going to throw a flag late. Patterson is down on the play. There will be a flag on the play. We'll take a quick timeout. 208 left here. Second quarter, 35 to nothing. Cougars with the lead. You're watching Black Diamond football on Mix TV. Michael Bench from the Mix 105.1. I moved back home to Salisaw in two weeks after I arrived. Lightning struck my AC unit, and it was toast. I called LaCosta at Oberste Insurance, and she quickly got the ball rolling with the American farmers and ranchers folks, and my AC was replaced in just a few days. They were extremely professional. Thanks again for the great service. Folks, if you want this level of service, stop by 1213 East Cherokee or on the other end of 775-6233. Forever Memories Funeral Services offers local ownership with deep roots in the community and a caring staff dedicated to serving Sequoia County and surrounding communities. We provide ceremonies uniquely designed to celebrate the life journey of your loved one. We welcome you to take advantage of all our services, including pre-planning and grief counseling. Forever Memories Funeral Services, bringing family and friends together in a time of loss. We're back here, 208 left, second quarter, 35 to nothing. Cougars with the lead. Cougars with the football after the penalty yards. They will have it at the Diamond 33 yard line. Get a big stop here if you're the uh, Diamond defense. Shotgun formation, three receivers here for the Cougars. Play action, going to throw it downfield. Incomplete, good coverage out there. Ashton Foster. Pass from Boyles, incomplete. Number six, Foster on the Gallagher, the Second intended receiver. Two oh three left here in the second, <laughs> second quarter. 
Cougars going to line up in a pistol set, three receivers. Going to give it outside run play here and a good job by the Diamond defense. Maybe a couple on the run for Gallagher. Gilmore with Excuse the carry Gilmore. tackle by Levi Sanders. Levi Sanders in there on the tackle, and that'll bring up third and about eight here. Third and nine. Third down for the Cougars. For the Cougars. Cougars staying in the pistol. Play action. Good. Good pursuit off the edge. Cooper Jackson was there Cooper for, the, Jackson. for the Diamonds. The sack for the Black Diamonds. Ran a little stunt right there. And uh, I tell you what, it was a great call coming off the edge right there. Even though we avoided that that uh, receiver out there, we we took a chance there, and it was a great call. Levi Sanders also in there on the play. We'll get a timeout on the field. Diamonds, Diamonds. going to take a timeout. We're going to stay right here with a minute. 24 left in the second quarter. I think we just voided a zone, didn't we? Played we did. zone behind I mean, it. Well, you know, I mean, yeah. it was a, you know, it was a calculated risk. We brought the outside linebacker off the edge and uh, brought him straight to quarterback. Saw boot, and made a great play right there. So it'll be a fourth. Call it about a fourth and 14 here for the uh, Cougar offense. Ball is on the diamond, diamond 37 yard line. Good shot of that defensive huddle down there for the diamonds. Fourth down, and the Cougars will line up in the shotgun. Three receivers, two backs. Takes a snap, play action. Will's going to throw it as far as he can down the field. He's got a man, and it's caught. Touchdown. Hughes, the talented receiver. Wow, I'm going to tell you something. That's quite a grab there, fellas. Double covered. We're standing right there with him, and he, I mean, just snatched it. Touchdown pass from Brock Boyle, number 14, Andrew. Tell you what, the freshman quarterback got, got a good arm on him. Well, here's the deal. He's got a good enough one, that's for sure. We'll see Mitchell out here to attempt the point after. Good snap, hold us down. It's blocked. Good job by the Diamond Special Teams really. Unit. Good job by the Special Teams Unit there. Extra point, no good. A minute 17 left here, second quarter. 41 to nothing. Cougars with the lead. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Salisaw Dental Care is the place to go for general and cosmetic dentistry, offering private rooms and state-of-the-art equipment. Salisaw Dental Care makes visits to the dentist as comfortable as possible for the whole family. As an accredited Invisalign provider, Dr. Gray can help you achieve the smile you've been dreaming of. For a toothache or a routine cleaning, their friendly staff and skilled doctors will take care of you. For a full menu of procedures and treatments Doctors Gray and Dotson offer, visit SalisawDentalCare.com. And, and, and Lamb. We're back. Minute 17 left here. Kai's, the, on the, uh, Kai's on the field. Second quarter, 41 to nothing. Cougars with a uh, big advantage here as we get close to halftime. Diamonds going to try to put something together here on this drive. Um, mm -mm. Kick is away. Charlie Martin will fair catch it at about the 27-yard line. So that's where the Diamonds will take over here with a minute 17. Got to, got to get something positive here, right, Coach? Yeah, we try need to, to, try to put a little drive together here. Yeah, keep possession of the ball. I mean, uh, don't give it back to them. Um, 
First down, first down. They may give you uh, some short throws. They're probably going to let the clock run out if you if you run it run the run the ball. They're probably not going to uh, call timeout. Diamonds two backs. Foster on the give is <clears throat> going to get hit in the backfield. So no no gain on the play. Nobody oh, took no a timeout. Carry, no gain. They're going to let the clock run out. Uh, they're not trying to get the ball back. Diamonds line up, second down, 10. Two back, shotgun formation, three receivers. Foster going to get it again. He's going to wiggle his way forward. Loses the football. Another fumble here. And it looks like the Cougars, Cougars are signaling they have it. Kid in the white jersey had the ball right there. And Ada will have the football first and 10 on the diamond 30 yard line. See the Ada offense back out here on the field. With 34 seconds left in the second quarter. You said hitch out with that kid. I did. He turned to the outside too. The future black diamonds right he there. He caught the hitch and turned to the outside. Somebody's been coaching him. Yeah. Don't run in there where they're coming from. Right. A lot of mad men inside there. Gilmore gets it. And he's going to get hit and taken down right at the line of scrimmage. And the Cougars. Cougars want to go to the locker room. They're just going to take this thing to halftime. Yeah. So with 20 seconds left. Cougars just going to go to the sideline and head to the Locker room and the Diamonds will do the same. As we will go to halftime here from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium, Ada Cougars 41, Salisaw Black Diamonds 0. Stay with us. We'll be back with the second half. After a few words from our sponsors, you're watching Salisaw Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. At Charlie's Chicken, you can expect a delicious variety of freshly fried chicken complemented by over 10 home-style side options along with delicious desserts. Enjoy daily specials or a signature combo meal like Charlie's Famous Chicken Chunks. Still want more? Their lunch and evening buffets are served seven days a week and filled with all your favorites. For those on the go, drop by Charlie's drive through window and ask about catering too. Warning, chicken's so good, it'll knock your socks off. Charlie's Chicken and Salisaw, 720 West Cherokee Avenue. If you find a vaping device in your teenager's possession, it might not be nicotine they're vaping. It could be THC extracts, a compound in marijuana that produces the high. Vaping marijuana or dabbing is the use of intense heat to vaporize marijuana concentrate that may contain up to 95% THC. Nicotine or marijuana extracts are not safe for teenagers as adolescent brains are still developing and these substances have negative impacts on that development. Nothing is as scary as the facts. For more information, visit salasawnow.com. What if I told you that the best homemade style burgers in Salisaw aren't from a restaurant, but from the Pit Stop Convenience Store and Cafe, 804 West Cherokee. Surprised? Don't be. The Pit Stop also serves breakfast, delicious burritos, sandwiches, chicken, and a la carte items like poppers, sidewinders, egg rolls, and more. Grab your favorite ice cold beverage from the walk-in cooler. You'll love the prices and friendly service. Dine in or drive through at the Pit Stop, 804 West Cherokee in Salisaw. At Salisaw Lumber, we are more than just a lumber yard. We are your full-service lumber company, hardware store, and appliance and flooring center all in one. If you don't find what you need, we'll order it for you. Our guys are standing at the counter ready to wait on you. And if you can't take it with you, we can deliver it to you for only $10. At Salisaw Lumber, we've not forgot about good customer service. Salisaw Lumber saves you time, saves you money. This is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. 
talk to State Farm Agent Shannon Van in Salisaw today. If you think about it, hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? Mm. That's also true. There's always something to talk about when it comes to McDonald's breakfast. Right now, get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or a McChicken biscuit and hash browns for $2. Only at McDonald's. Now you can watch over 300 plus Black Diamond games on the Salasaw Black Diamonds website. SalasawBlackDiamonds.com is your source for everything Black Diamonds, including games from yesteryear. Go to SalasawBlackDiamonds.com, select a sport in year, choose the game you want to watch. Games from 1968 to today, interviews with players, watch the games you played in, the games you remember. Explore all this and more at SalasawBlackDiamonds.com. My experience with Pink Current Enrollment was amazing. I wouldn't change anything about it. In high school, it can be difficult to uh, transition to college. What I've enjoyed most about Concurrent Enrollment is the scheduling. My experience with Concurrent Enrollment was awesome. I could better prepare myself for what was ahead. My instructors at Carl were very flexible, available, and they helped me achieve success. Comfortable isn't the first word most people think of when they think about a dentist visit, but Aesthetic Dental Institute is different. Dr. Henshaw has been serving the community for over 25 years with expert dentistry. For cleanings and preventative care, IV and oral conscious sedation, cosmetic dentistry, bleaching, Invisalign, restorations, and even Botox, Aesthetic Dental Institute offers modern dentistry in a relaxed and calm environment. Schedule your complimentary consultation at salisawdentist.com.
Just pull your car into Diamond Express, 712 South Curve Boulevard for Salisaw's best breakfast on the go. You're going to love the food, the big burritos, the biscuit sandwiches, the breakfast platters, and the best biscuits and gravy around. Yum! Diamond Express is well stocked with all your favorites. Great food, yummy snacks, hot and cold beverages, lottery tickets, and much more. When you need fuel for your body or fuel for your car, come into Diamond Express, 712 South Curve Boulevard in Salisaw. Since 1907, Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families with compassion and attention to detail. When you experience the loss of a loved one, trust Agent Mallory Martin to guide you through the process of honoring your loved one's life with dignity. With over 100 years of experience in all facets of funeral service, Agent Mallory Martin will help you celebrate your loved one in a way that would make everyone proud. Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving your family from one generation to the next. For 40 years, Stavely Insurance has been the go-to company when it comes to keeping you and yours protected. They specialize in commercial insurance as well as home, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, farm, and life. Stavely Insurance is a brokerage. That means they shop for you, finding the best coverage at the best price while offering convenient monthly payments. The problem solvers at Stavely Insurance concern themselves with your coverage, so you don't have to. Stavely Insurance, 204 East Cherokee in Salisaw. 
Show your hometown pride with a School Spirit debit card from First Star Bank. Each time you make a purchase with your School Spirit debit card, First Star Bank will make a donation to your school district. You make a purchase, they make a donation. Everyone wins. Support your school with First Star Bank's School Spirit debit card. First Star Bank has donated over $100,000 to local schools through the School Spirit program. Debit cards may be ordered online at firststar-bank.com. How may I help you? And have a great day. Those phrases aren't taken lightly at Best Mart, 1800 East Cherokee in Salisall. Couple that service with delicious food like homemade biscuits and gravy, breakfast burritos, lots of fried goodies, and a huge selection of beverages, and you have a winning combination. When you're on the east side and you want some quick, delicious food, your favorite snack, or just need fuel, you can't beat Best Mart. At Best Mart, we try to live up to our name every day. Come see why today at 1800 East Cherokee in Salisall. Do you care for an aging loved one? Are you concerned about them and their daily welfare? Call Peter's Agency for personalized and compassionate home health and hospice care. Peter's Agency is available right now. Together, you can create a caring plan for your loved one. From dressing and grooming to meals and transportation, your loved one will feel comfortable and cared for. A solution is simple and only a phone call away. Peter's Agency provides comprehensive, family-oriented health care with the belief that care with prayer changes things. Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pond can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pond has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Northeastern Health System in Salisaw realizes we all have choices in health care. When we are healthy, we laugh harder, we work better, and we take care of each other. So why not choose a hospital that cares for you and your community? You have choices. Choose personal respectful and compassionate care at Northeastern Health System in Salisaw. Your right choice for health care, right here at home. Cinco's Grilling Cantina is Salisaw's home for great Mexican food and live music. Cinco's features amazing chile verde, fajitas, authentic street tacos, loaded baked potatoes, great drinks, and much more. Like them on Facebook for yummy specials, shopping events, and concerts. Plus, Cinco's Banquet and Event Center is available for wedding receptions, birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, and meetings. Cinco's Grilling Cantina, 230 North Oak in Salisaw. And remember, work hard, be kind, eat tacos. Michael Bench from the Mix 1051. I moved back home to Salisaw, and two weeks after I arrived, lightning struck my AC unit, and it was toast. I called LaCosta at Oberstee Insurance, and she quickly got the ball rolling with the American farmers and ranchers folks, and my AC was replaced in just a few days. They were extremely professional. Thanks again for the great service. Folks, if you want this level of service, stop by 1213 East Cherokee or on the other end of 775-6233. Hi, I'm Michaela Taylor, and I'm a senior, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Go Black Diamonds. Forever Memories Funeral Services offers local ownership with deep roots in the community and a caring staff dedicated to serving Sequoia County and surrounding communities. We provide ceremonies uniquely designed to celebrate the life journey of your loved one. We welcome you to take advantage of all our services, including pre-planning and grief counseling. Forever Memories Funeral Services, bringing family and friends together in a time of loss. 
Salisad Dental Care is the place to go for general and cosmetic dentistry, offering private rooms and state-of-the-art equipment. Salisad Dental Care makes visits to the dentist as comfortable as possible for the whole family. As an accredited Invisalign provider, Dr. Gray can help you achieve the smile you've been dreaming of for a toothache or a routine cleaning. Their friendly staff and skilled doctors will take care of you. For a full menu of procedures and treatments Doctors Gray and Dotson offer, visit SalisawDentalCare.com. At Charlie's Chicken, you can expect a delicious variety of freshly fried chicken complemented by over 10 home-style side options along with delicious desserts. Enjoy daily specials or a signature combo meal like Charlie's Famous Chicken Chunks. Still want more? Their lunch and evening buffets are served seven days a week and filled with all your favorites. For those on the go, drop by Charlie's drive through window and ask about catering too. Warning, chicken so good, it'll knock your socks off. Charlie's Chicken in Salisaw, 720 West Cherokee Avenue. If you find a vaping device in your teenager's possession, it might not be nicotine they're vaping. It could be THC extracts, a compound in marijuana that produces the high. Vaping marijuana or dabbing is the use of intense heat to vaporize marijuana concentrate that may contain up to 95% THC. Nicotine or marijuana extracts are not safe for teenagers as adolescent brains are still developing and these substances have negative impacts on that development. Nothing is as scary as the facts. For more information, visit salasawnow.com. What if I told you that the best homemade style burgers in Salisaw aren't from a restaurant, but from the Pit Stop Convenience Store and Cafe, 804 West Cherokee. Surprised? Don't be. The Pit Stop also serves breakfast, delicious burritos, sandwiches, chicken, and a la carte items like poppers, sidewinders, egg rolls, and more. Grab your favorite ice cold beverage from the walk-in cooler. You'll love the prices and friendly service. Dine in or drive through at the Pit Stop, 804 West Cherokee in Salisaw. At Salisaw Lumber, we are more than just a lumber yard. We are your full-service lumber company, hardware store, and appliance and flooring center all in one. If you don't find what you need, we'll order it for you. Our guys are standing at the counter ready to wait on you. And if you can't take it with you, we can deliver it to you for only $10. At Salisaw Lumber, we've not forgot about good customer service. Salisaw Lumber saves you time, saves you money. This is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. Talk to State Farm agent Shannon Van in Salisaw today. If you think about it, hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? Mm. That's also true. There's always something to talk about when it comes to McDonald's breakfast. Right now, get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or a McChicken biscuit and hash browns for $2. Only at McDonald's. Now you can watch over 300-plus Black Diamond games on the Salisaw Black Diamonds website. SalisawBlackDiamonds.com is your source for everything Black Diamonds, including games from yesteryear. Go to SalisawBlackDiamonds.com, select a sport in year, choose the game you want to watch. Games from 1968 to today, interviews with players, watch the games you played in, the games you remember. Explore all this and more at SalisawBlackDiamonds.com. No, I don't know where there's. And we're yes. back. Halftime score, forty-one nothing. Ada Cougars. I tell you what, good. This is a good Ada Cougar football team back down in four A and back in our district here, which isn't great, but man, they are. They are playing some good football. They they're coming off a win of Durant last week. Really played some tough competition and. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you something, boys. Go back to week. Uh, maybe it was zero week or week one. They beat Ada. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, they beat Ardmore. Yeah. And Ardmore is always a 5A contender, yeah. a perennial 5A. Always a deep threat run team. to be in the semis, aren't they? Yes. Yes. And I'll tell you, you know, I mean, you just take and go tonight. Very athletic. And Ardmore's got, uh, I can't remember who they're playing tonight, but it's just, it's hard to, hard to say this, you know. What I mean by that is trying to talk about matchups. But Ardmore tonight, 
has got Noble, who's picked to, you know, being a top two of that district up there with Midwest City and Noble, yeah. Ardmore, and they're, they're tied 21-21. They gave up a two touchdown lead. Noble's picked to be now, a I'm going to tell you 18. something. The shocker tonight, though, the shocker tonight is Stillwell and Hilldale. Stillwell is now up at half, 12 to 10, <laughs> on the Hornets. At Hilldale. Hilldale. At Hilldale, mm -hmm. yeah. So, fellas, I'm, I'm telling you something. Stillwell gets right tonight if they win that game. That's where, and that's where we'll be at next week on the road at Stillwell yes. for our oh, second Oh, I can't district. wait to go to that press box at Stillwell. Yes. Isn't it wonderful? It well, might be a little bit chilly. Could be nice and cool. It's getting close to, to that time. Yeah, could be. Now, here's, a, here's another one for you, fellas. I, not, not to interrupt. No, Hilldale's, Hilldale's taking the lead 16-12 in the third, in the <coughs> late in second. I'm sorry. Uh, it was 12-10. Poto's rolling over Fort Gibson, 31 to seven, and uh, and our, our other one, um, and this Broken is Bow. kind of a shocker too. Broken Bow is leading Medill, 27-13 at half. So Medill is no, they're no, they're they're not a team either that uh, we can't overlook. They're a challenging team. Coach, what about a Charlie's Chicken trivia question? We have now? a Charlie's Chicken trivia question. Which season did Salisaw defeat Ada in the playoffs? Was it 1977, 1987, 1995, or 2003? We've only played them three total times. We played them twice in the regular season in 1994 and 1995. That's the only two times we played them in the regular season. You know, Coach, I don't know, in 1995, I don't know if they lost a game that those three or four years with Brandon Daniels down there. We defeated Ada one of those years in the playoffs. Yeah, they're uh, Ada set to receive, and they will receive it. They'll fair catch it on their own 31-yard line as they will uh, take over here to begin the third quarter. We beat them out here in the out here at Salsa in the quarterfinals. Coach, uh, can't tell you who the coach was here, but the, the mid 90s they were in our district. Yeah, yeah but they were only true. in there for for, for two, one one alignment, which is yeah, two years. Yeah, yeah, could have been a rematch. Yeah, could have been a rematch, like Tahlequah was that year, last year's. Last week's question. Cougars got the football. First and ten here. Looks like they still got that first group out there, too. Boyles under center, takes a snap, turns, gives a Gilmore. He's going to fall forward for a yard. That's about it. I see the Patterson kid uh, back in the lineup. I guess that injury at, uh, on the punt didn't affect him that much. What number is he, Coach? Number seven. Seven, I see him. We got Noah Flores, Caden Cowan, and uh, 56 is Caden Pollard. Excuse me, Patrick Mills is 56 for the Diamonds. Second down. Will's going to throw it. He's going to launch it downfield, and he's got Patterson out there, and it's going to be dropped. Good coverage out there from Sim Kilpatrick. And uh, that's really good coverage down there for the Diamonds. That's going to bring up third down for the Cougars. Got in there and broke that up. Kilpatrick did. Third and nine here for the uh, Cougar offense. Got him behind the chains. Third and nine. We haven't seen a screen. We haven't seen a tunnel screen from them. We haven't. We've seen one screen. Yeah. We've seen one screen and, and we jumped all over. Cole Stevens jumped that early. Little roll out here. Thrown high, intended for Morris, incomplete. Max Stump in coverage. And that'll bring it, right that'll bring it fourth down. You know, I know you'd have to ask yourself, okay, what are they doing coming out here and still throwing with a 41-point lead? Here's the thing, fellas. They got a baby, they got a brand-new quarterback, and they've got to get him ready for this district. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll see Hughes back here to punt it away for the Cougars. Back deep to return will be Sim Kilpatrick. Brock off also back there for the Diamonds. A lot of speed for the Diamonds back there. Punt is away. It's going to hit, take a Cougar bounce, a good Cougar bounce inside the 20, down inside the 15 to about the 12, and that's where the Diamonds will take over. 11.08 left here. Third quarter, 41 nothing. Cougars with the lead. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV. My experience with Pink Current Enrollment was amazing. I wouldn't change anything about it. In high school, it can be difficult to uh, transition to college. What I've enjoyed most about Pink Current Enrollment is the scheduling. 
My experience with concurrent enrollment was awesome. I could better prepare myself for what was ahead. My instructors at Carlisle were very flexible, available, and they helped me achieve success. Diamond offense back out here on the field. Diamond's going to the eye formation. Takes a snap. We're going to get a fullback carry here right up the middle. Not sure who that was that's on Caleb the run. Caden, Cowan. That's, Kay, that's Caden, a Cowan kid. Caden Cowan. Caden Cowan on the run. He's going to gain about three. That'll bring up second down. Seven here for the Diamonds. I think probably what they're going to do is stay, stay in that look this series. And uh, this is that flex bone, eye formation. No, it's not the flex bone. Power, it's, it's, it's uh, eye with well, it's two it's tight ends. It's a wing eye set. It's, 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 it's the eye formation. That double-double wing over there. Kilpatrick, the tailback, he takes the pitch, and he's going to run forward for a couple. It's third and manageable here. Third and about five. Yeah. For the diamond offense. Diamond staying in the eye formation. Kilpatrick the tailback. Cowan the fullback. Takes a snap. Going to be a flag on the play. Maybe this will be a first down. Could be. It's going to be against the Diamonds. False start. They kind of hopped and we jumped. So make it a third and a third and a ten here for the Diamonds. Diamonds staying in the eye formation. Takes a snap, pitch to Kilpatrick. He's going to get hit and dropped in the backfield. He's going to lose about three, maybe four on the play. Probably a run through linebacker there, backside. It's going to be a loss of about five on the play. Now it's going to be fourth down here for the Diamonds. We'll punt it away. Who's our deep snapper there, Lou? It's uh, Holman, Jace Holman, 44. Okay. okay. True freshman. That's not a red shirt, huh? No, he's not a red shirt freshman. Punt is away. It's going to hit, take a diamond bounce, and go out of bounds at about the diamond 35-yard line. Ada takes over, 8.55 left here, third quarter, 41 nothing. Cougars with the lead. And you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Comfortable isn't the first word most people think of when they think about a dentist visit, but Aesthetic Dental Institute is different. Dr. Henshaw has been serving the community for over 25 years with expert dentistry. For cleanings and preventative care, IV and oral conscious sedation, cosmetic dentistry, bleaching, Invisalign, restorations, and even Botox, Aesthetic Dental Institute offers modern dentistry in a relaxed and calm environment. Schedule your complimentary consultation at salisawdentist.com. Boyles and Company back out here for the Cougars. Got a late, late entry here. Takes a snap, gonna get the carry. You can have a good run, he cuts it back to about the 30 yard line, gain of about five on the run. Looks like we're gonna have a hold here. That's another freshman, 25 is another freshman for him. Bohannon on the run. That's, I think that's a coach's boy. What's his name? Bohannon. Uh, they've got a coach Bohannon, Bohannon. on the staff. Yeah, he's not, can't, he's not related to Johnny. Okay. Johnny Bohannon of Okima, right? That's that's exactly and, right. Yeah, for sure, Okima. Maybe someplace. No, maybe another school. So it'll be a hold on the Cougars. It's going to move it back to the 40, 46 yard line and make it a first and twenty for the Cougar offense. Fellas, they've got. Uh, Looks they've like they got, got some backups coming in. Pitch outside. Gilmore still in the ball game, and he's going to get hit got hard. Flag. I 
Ashton Foster in there on the play for the Diamonds. He'll come out. It's going to be another penalty on the Cougars. The only thing negative really about the Cougar game tonight is the game plan tonight. And the way they've performed is they've had a lot of penalties. Yeah, and I don't think they planned for that game plan. No. First down, Gilmore wiggles his way up the middle, but he's going to get stopped after a gain of about two on the play. Bring him second, <laughs> second down. Second. second down and about 27 here. Noah Flores comes in the game, the defensive line. Three receivers. Boyles drops back to throw. He has time. He throws it across the middle. He's got his receiver. Hughes caught it. He's going to have a first down down the sideline, and he is gone. Touchdown, Cougars. Well, I'll tell you what. He's got a different gear. He's fast. He does. We had the angle on him, and he just ran away from us. Yeah. You know, that's not something you see every day is a 6'6 guy that can run like that. You see Mitchell out here to attempt the point after. Good snap, holds down, kick is up. And it's good. 7.23 left. Third Cougars. Third quarter. Cougars 48. Diamond zero. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. When you're in a hurry and hungry, just pull your car into Diamond Express. 712 South Curve Boulevard for Salisaw's best breakfast on the go. You're going to love the food. The big burritos, the biscuit sandwiches, the breakfast platters, and the best biscuits and gravy around. Yum! Diamond Express is well stocked with all your favorites. Great food, yummy snacks, hot and cold beverages, lottery tickets, and much more. When you need fuel for your body or fuel for your car, come into Diamond Express. 712 South Curve Boulevard in Salisaw. Hi, my name is Ronnie Gandhi. I'm a senior drum major, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. And we're back here, 48 to zero. Cougars with the lead. Coach, you got a play of yesteryear? We have a play of yesteryear. If it's an end zone view, it's number 60 right on the right of your screen. Chris Turner comes off a block, makes a tackle. On a running back right there, Mr. Chris, Chris Turner. Chris Turner, Mr. Oh, smiley face. I tell you what, never had, never had a bad day. Chris Turner was a. Kilpatrick going to return it here for the Diamonds. He's going to get tackled at about the 35-yard line. Chris Turner was, you know, he was a senior our first year here. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, we used to run offensive line drills, and he'd hide in the back. He did not <laughs> want to play in the offensive line. Right. We would go down to Broken Bow. He hadn't taken any snaps. We'd get somebody hurt. We'd put him in the game, and he would point to me. He'd point to who he's blocking. I'd shake my head yes. <laughs> he'd go block him. Yeah, he would have been a – he was a good defensive lineman. He was, he was a really yeah. good defensive yeah. lineman. He would have uh, – he'd been a good offensive lineman too. Offset in person. Coach Aswell told me, he said, leave him alone. He'll play just fine over there on defense. Yeah. And, and did he ever. Yeah. Have uh, offsetting personal foul penalties here. So. See the diamond offense back out here. Jackson Harris, the little freshman quarterback here, is going to be in the ball game for the diamonds. Got a new running back. Well, he's played a little bit tonight. Ty Brown back in at running back. Harrison, the shotgun, one back. Takes a snap. He looks. He pumps. He gets rid of it outside, thrown high, incomplete. Brock off the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Ty Brown's number 40, isn't he? Yeah. We still got uh, Max Stump in there at receiver. That offensive line in there. Off McMillian and Cox, the receivers, uh -huh. at the top of the screen.
Harris takes a snap, the give, Brown, hit. Well, he's doing all he can to break those tackles, and he's going to get taken Five down rounds. after about a yard on the play. That'll bring up a third down. Call third and eight here for the Diamonds. Four receivers. Little blitz package here. Harris is going to step up, but he can't get away from him. He's going to get tackled, sacked. It's going to be a loss of about three. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Diamonds just really struggling tonight, getting anything going offensively. But that eight of defense is uh, really I, I, I tough. What, I, I think that. They're the ones that uh, making us look like this. They're they're really strong on defense. They oh, can good, good they defense. can ski daddle to the ball. You see Brock off back out here to punt it away. Patterson back deep to return. Good high spiraling kick. It's going to hit and take a diamond bounce. Good punt here. Going to bounce all the way down to about the 21. That's where the Cougars take over. 546 left third quarter, 48 nothing. Cougars with the lead. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Since 1907, Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families with compassion and attention to detail. When you experience the loss of a loved one, trust Agent Mallory Martin to guide you through the process of honoring your loved one's life with dignity. With over 100 years of experience in all facets of funeral service, Agent Mallory Martin will help you celebrate your loved one in a way that would make everyone proud. Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving your family from one generation to the next. We're back here. Keys and Roland were tied at 14, starting the third quarter while ago. Yeah, I haven't done any scoreboard checks. I need to look at some stuff. What about that Vian Warner score? You not see that, Coach? Let me. I, you know, I haven't checked that. Let me check and see that. Poto pulling away, 38-7. Got a new quarterback in there in the ball game for uh, Ada. It's number 22, Kinley. Not listed as a quarterback, listed as a linebacker. But. Uh, Vianne is rolling over Warner, 44 to 7. Cougars lining up here. Takes a snap, the turn, the give. Bohannon running hard. He's going to try to get outside. He's going to be close to a Cougar first down. Hildale's starting to flex their muscles a little bit. They went up 23-12. They must have woke up a little bit. Uh, but Dill Broken Bow, still 27-13, says at half. So it'll be a second and short here for second, second and ten here. Excuse me, first and ten here for the Cougar offense. Going heavy under center. Kenley the give. Bohannon another good carry outside. He's going to get stacked up at about the 39 yard line. So he's going to gain about seven, maybe eight on the play. Bohannon now we got penalty carry. flags. Getting a little chippy out there. That's why we need that running clock right now, folks. This is uh, got a line change here for the Diamonds. I tell you what, now here's one for you, which if you've ever seen U.S. Grant play, you'd understand. But Stillwater won tonight, 85 to nothing. <laughs> it's already over, huh? Yeah. Tell you, I got an interesting out out west. My son coaches at Lot High, and they're tied up 17-17 with Putnam City. With Putnam City? Putnam City original. The Pirates. Yes. 
Orange and Black Pirates of Putnam City. Well, where's that, that ball game at? It's, uh, I think it's at Lawton. It's, it's their homecoming too. Here's another one kind of shocks me. Muskogee had a 21 to nothing lead over Sand Springs and Sand Springs came storming back. It's a one point game now. <clears throat> you got a carry here for a first down. Number 42 for the uh, Cougars. That's Richardson, another freshman running back. Got a plethora of freshman running backs. <coughs> Colton Riggs comes in the game, number 36. Probably as an outside linebacker. Kinley under center. Good job by the Diamond defense out there. Get that is Colton Riggs on the tackle. Get him in there. Number 36. I'll bring up second down and 10 here for the Colton Riggs is the stop. Cougar offense. Kenley under center. A flex bone look here for the. Well, it's wing T, and it's. Uh, Bohannon coughs it up. There we go. Brock off going to jump on it. Over. Diamond's going to get it back here. Fumble Using those freshman running time. backs, and they finally fumble it. Brock off with the recovery, so the Diamonds will take over. Here's a here's one that I was kind of keeping my eye on too tonight was Muldrow and Shakota. And they're in the fourth quarter, 11 minutes left, it says, and Muldrow with a 21-6 lead. Bulldogs. They were, they were. I'm telling you something, fellas. They're, they get that belief going. I'm not saying they can win that, win that league over there, but it's, uh, you know, Stigler is up big on Seminole. I thought Seminole was going to be okay, but, you know, they're. So it could be Stigler and Muldrow over be. there in that. It could be, yeah. Cause, 3A uh, district. You got Lincoln Christian guys, don't you? I forgot about them. Yeah, there's And you got, oh, you got oh, Berry yeah. Hill also. And Berry Hills as well. That's right. Yeah. But, but I tell you what, Stigler's putting a pop knot on Seminole's head 27 to 8. This was a game that Muldrow needed to win if they were going to be a playoff team. That's right. We've got a new quarterback in the ballgame. This is the Smith kid. Smith kid looks at his reads and he's going to throw an interception. <laughs> That's coming back. That's coming back. Should throw the flag. There it is right there. Yeah, there it is. Number 11, Richardson with the interception and the return for the touchdown. A lot of celebration there. I think it started back here on about the 20-yard line. So Hunter Smith. Hunter Smith, that's yep. uh, that's, our new, that's our new wrestling coach's son. He just came in from Morris. 5'10", 180-pound quarterback. Looks, yeah. looks a little bigger than Jackson Harris, but. He's, uh, he's from the first family of wrestling. Okay. Be first and ten for the Cougars. No touchdown. Don't oh, bring it back. He get, he gave him the old number one sign, didn't he? He did. Yeah, he told him his, he told everybody that he was he was special. He's number did he? one. He had to show everybody in there. He was running in for a touchdown. It's be first and ten for the Cougars on the diamond thirty-one yard line. Three fourteen left. Here in the third quarter. The give. Gonna get around the end. What another good run here for the Cougars. That's another, it's another back in the ball game. It's uh, number 36, Justice. Another freshman. You know, Lou, like you always said about that wing T in junior high, all you do is develop running backs. And he's going to have it down inside the 10-yard line. It'll be a first and goal for the Cougars. We got blocked for each other, too. So, Kinley still in the ball game here at quarterback. He'll be under center. Takes a snap. Bohannon gets it. Breaks a tackle. He's going to try to get outside. Foster hits him, and good job by the Diamonds there. 
swarming and making the tackle. No gain on the play. Good tackle by Foster coming up. Good open field tackle. So be second, and second and goal here from the 11. The Cougar offense. Kinley under center takes the snap. Turn the give justice again. He's going to get hit and taken down. Good tackle. Not much on the play. Maybe a yard. And we got flags again here. Caden Cowan on that play. On that tackle. Coming from the interior defensive line to make a tackle on the sweep. I think this will not go against us, fellas. Yeah, I think this may be on us. <clears throat> Eli Justice on the carry. We got him in fourth down. No, we got him <laughs> in third down. It'll be third and goal. We're going to move it down to about the five yard line. Third and goal. Minute 45 left here, third quarter. Cougars with the ball moving. Kinley lines up. Man in motion is Justice. He's going to get it, and Dylan Miller is going to fire in there for the tackle. It's going to be a loss Justice of a couple on the play. Miller. Dylan Miller with another good tackle there for the Diamonds. That'll bring up fourth, fourth down. Cougars have converted on a couple fourth downs tonight. So, yeah, they have. See if the Diamonds can keep them from. First half they converted, wasn't it, two of them? Yeah. Inside, inside 30. Kinley under center. Change it up here. And we'll get a whistle here. We'll get a timeout on the field. We'll take one. 45 seconds left, third quarter. Ada Cougars 48, Salisaw Black Diamond 0. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. For 40 years, Stavely Insurance has been the go-to company when it comes to keeping you and yours protected. They specialize in commercial insurance as well as home, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, farm, and life. Stavely Insurance is a brokerage. That means they shop for you, finding the best coverage at the best price while offering convenient monthly payments. The problem solvers at Stavely Insurance concern themselves with your coverage, so you don't have to. Stavely Insurance, 204 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Yeah, the cheerleaders tomorrow go to state competition. Tulsa Union, is that right? It is at the UMAC, yeah. It's, yeah, it is at the UMAC. I guess they're leaving town at 12 or 1. And I think we got a chance to win the, the public school skate championship tomorrow. Great deal. Because it's, uh, I think it's, I think we're the, us and Bristow maybe are the only two pu public schools. The rest of them are all <sighs> private schools. Fourth and goal here for the Cougar offense. And we'll see uh, Kinley. Under center. Takes the snap. Throws a fade. And it's going to be dropped. Incomplete. So good job by the Diamond defense. Turnover on downs. The Diamond offense back out here with 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Time try to get something, try to get something going here. Going to see Jackson Harris back out here at quarterback for the Diamonds. We got Zyla Rogers, number 77 at center. He's a big boy. Who's flanking him, Lou? Huh? Who's, who's, who's on his flanks? Give Foster running hard right up the middle. It's a good carry up 
across the 15. Sides went to left guard, and Mikey Moss went to left tackle. Sides has been playing left tackle. He went to left guard, and Flores is at right guard. In a right tackle is Cooper Carter. Cooper Carter is number 75 at right tackle, yeah. Diamonds try to get a playoff here before the third quarter expires. Harrison, the shotgun, one back. Takes a snap. The give, and Foster is hit and blown up in the backfield. It's going to be a loss on the play, loss of a couple. And that will do it for the third quarter here from Perry F. Lattimore Stadium. We go to the fourth. Here Eight of Cougars, five. 48. Yes. South Side Black Diamond, zero. You're watching Mix TV, your home for Black Diamond football. Show your hometown pride with a school spirit debit card from First Star Bank. Each time you make a purchase with your school spirit debit card, First Star Bank will make a donation to your school district. You make a purchase, they make a donation. Everyone wins. Support your school with First Star Bank's school spirit debit card. First Star Bank has donated over $100,000 to local schools through the school spirit program. Debit cards may be ordered online at firststar-bank.com. Hi, I'm Ellie Martin, and I'm a senior, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV. Go Black Diamond. Yeah, it's uh, 1982 Northeastern mm -hmm. uh, State Redmen and the 1991 mm -hmm. Northeastern State Redmen. Mm -hmm. They're having a uh, reunion, and uh, I'm going up for that tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I, I was, you know, I was kind of in between. JJ texted me and, and uh, asked me if I'd show up, and I said, I don't know. And then uh, he uh, texts me again, and I said, well, maybe. You know, I've been on the road a lot here lately, and so I really wasn't looking forward to going anywhere Saturday. But then he, third time I, I gave in, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, the, you know, the Paul Lanes and Tim Wall Ravens and Robert Shornick, who's a, a, one of the administrators now in Tulsa Public School System. Really proud of him, all he's done. And David, David Canifax, who's a brain surgeon or something like that. He's crazy smart. I think he's an engineer, launches space shuttles or something. Harris with the give, Foster with a first down carry for the Diamonds. Aaron. Diamonds hadn't had a lot of first downs tonight, but there's one. Good run. Here's a McDonald's replay, Coach. Oh, that run through linebacker didn't get there. Looks like a little jet sweep action. First and 10 here for the Diamonds, two backs, three receivers. Takes a snap, the give. A good tackle on the play there. That is, uh, I think that is number 28, Austin. That's Austin. Oh, that's Aaron File in the game at running back for the Diamonds. Excuse me, it's not Ashton Foster. So File getting some time in the backfield for the Diamonds. Gain a yard on that last play. Bring up second and nine. Three receivers here for the Diamonds. Play action. Harris in the backfield. Going to escape. Going to throw it downfield. And just overthrows the intended receiver. Number 11, Charlie Martin. That'll bring up third down. Third down for the Diamonds. Third and nine, Jackson Harris in at quarterback. Three receivers set, one back here in the backfield. Takes a snap, gives it. And the Cougars all night have been swarming in the backfield. And they do and make the tackle there. Was that Aaron File? That, that was. Aaron Gonna be a loss of a few on the play. It's gonna bring it fourth down. Brock off. He's got two siblings in this program. Aaron does. Does he? Yeah. We coached him at Roland. His dad, Michael File at Roland. He's got so three. what grade do they in? There's a freshman. And this one's this one's a Aaron's junior. Aaron's a junior, I believe, yeah. Got this one. Aaron's a junior. We got a freshman. And then there's a younger one. Off with a good punt. No one back to return, so it'll hit. It will take a diamond bounce and be down at about the 41-yard line. We've got to finish up our trivia answer. 
We do. Let's go with it, Coach. Joe, you ready for some trivia answer? Charlie's Chicken trivia question answer. Which season did Southsaw defeat Ada in the playoffs? It was the 203 season. Semifinal team. Yeah. That was, that was Coach Terry's first year. Coach Terry's first year. And there's a quarterfinal game against Ada. Beat them 26 to 14. Where was that at It Ada? was here. It was oh, here. here. Okay. It was probably tied at half. We might have been behind. I don't know. It was a heck of a game. 26 to 14 victory. Yeah, Coach Terry's first year as a head coach. Coach, where were you at in 2003? Uh, I was at Roland. Yeah. The next week in the semis, they played Glenpool at Muskogee. I bet you that's when uh, they had, uh, oh, that good running back went to uh, OU. Uh, they have Courtney Tennille. Tennille uh, Courtney Tennille, I think was his name. Yeah. 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 And boy, let me tell you something. He was not only a good football player, he was a heck of a wrestler. Yeah. Went to OU, I think, and left and came to TU. And Did ended he? up being a good player there, yeah. He would. He was quite a high school football player. Oh, uh, Coach Edwards, he had a slew of those kind of kids back when he, you know, when he mm -hmm. made all those deep runs to the playoffs. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was 203, and they got, uh, yeah, they were still running in, in uh, 208, 209. Glenpool was. Second down 11 here for the Cougars. Kinley under center. Takes a snap, turns, and gives to the back, and the Diamond's going to stuff it. So a loss of a yard on the play. Colton Riggs is in there and a host of other Diamonds. Saw that 36. Who's that rascal got off the pile right there with Riggs? Well, I can't see his number. He's got the old jersey all messed he does. up. He's got the yeah. college jersey tucked in. Yeah, out. yeah. But he's got some. He's got some of those uh, bands going. On. He looks good. Yeah, I like that jersey. And he's kind of dancing a little bit. I, I like the like fact that. his jersey's messed up. Like he's been doing something, playing some nah, ball. He fixed it. Okay. Somebody, of course, you know they're all trying to hold him. Third and thirteen here for the Cougars. He's gonna get outside. Ball's on the ground. Looks like Ada jumped on it on about the forty-six yard line. It's a big gain of about seven. Good tackle. It was a good tackle. Head on ball, wasn't it? Yeah. That rascal popped out of there. I don't know who this was down here. Got a replay there? Got a McDonald's replay, Joe? Let's see. Coach, that, what do you think about McDonald's? Replay? I love McDonald's. McDonald's replay. I love McDonald's replay. That's good. See, hat on the ball right here. Though. Cooper yeah, Cox. That's Cooper Cox. Cox. Yeah. He did. That's a yeah. nice form tackle. Nice Put that play by right Cooper on the ball Cox. Shook it loose. Fourth down. Cougars going to line up to go for it here. Now we'll have a timeout on the field. We'll take one, 739 left. Coach, actually, let's not take a timeout. How about we go to a play of yesteryear? Hey, Joe, do we have a last play of yesteryear? I believe this one is from 1968, Clinton Falls. On the old counter dive right there. Runs down inside the five-yard line there. Some of those guys that uh, played on that team are having the, the juniors that year, which that was Clinton Falls. Uh, was that his junior year, 68? 68 was his junior year. Okay. And, and, uh, and I think the class of 71, which he, I guess he was the class of 71, because 70 would have been his senior year. They're having their class reunion when we play Medill. Okay. The only reason well, why good. I know that is I've got a brother in that you class. Got, okay. So well, now the Cougars deal. line up to punt it. Hughes out here. We'll see his, see his punt. It's a little end over end kick. It's going to hit. We'll take a diamond bounce up to about the 34, and that's where the diamonds will take over. 7.30 left here, fourth quarter, 48 to nothing. Cougars with the lead. You're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV. How may I help you? And have a great day. Those phrases aren't taken lightly at Best Mart, 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw. Couple that service with delicious food like homemade biscuits and gravy, breakfast burritos, lots of fried goodies, and a huge selection of beverages, and you have a winning combination. When you're on the east side and you want some quick, delicious food, your favorite snack, or just need fuel, you can't beat Best Mart. At Best Mart, we try to live up to our name every day. Come see why today at 1800 East Cherokee in Salisaw.
So we have Smith back out there at quarterback for the Diamonds as he will give it give it off here to the running back. Five. Is that file? Twenty five in the ball game. Twenty five. At running back. Let's see who twenty five is. Yeah, let's get him some publicity. It here. is Ra oh, Rowdy Harris. Ward. Rowdy Ward. Rowdy Ward. In the backfield. Is number twenty five. Yeah. I'm looking for numbers. And I think the Smith kid's back in at quarterback. He is. Ward going to get it again, and he's going to fall forward for a gain of about three. Okay, that's progress right there. And it'll make it about a third and three here third for the Diamond offense. Oh, number eight, Hunter Smith. He's going to keep it. He's just going to slide down here. No gain on the play. It's going to be a loss of a couple, actually. The Diamonds will line up to punt it away. No deep return guy for the Cougars. Oft pressured, and he can't get the punt away. And it's going to go out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. So Ada will take over, 5.45 left here in the uh, fourth quarter. Ada up 48 to nothing here on the, all over the Black Diamonds. Tell you what, Ada just dominant tonight in every aspect of the game. Going to be tough in 4A4 on any team that plays Ada. Okay, fellas, Broken Bow is, uh, Medill's cut the lead on Broken Bow, 27-20 in the that's third. At, that's at Broken Bow, too, isn't it? And that's isn't? at Broken Bow, which, you know, that's down the street from Medill. You know, they're, they're used to traveling just like Broken Bow is. But that's really kind of in their neck of the woods. Poto uh, up big, 38-7. And... Uh, Indians hanging in there, 23-12 in the third with uh, the Hilldale Hornets. Some of the other scores, I tell you what, Wagner, well, they uh, really jumped on Sky Took tonight, 66 to nothing. That's a final. And, and uh, Tuttle to took Bethany to the woodshed. They were ranked number six, and they beat them 20, uh, I mean 40 to 27. I should have had my scouts that game, shouldn't I, Luke? Mm-hmm. Second down here for the Cougars. Second and 10. Kenley under center going to give it to Justice, who tries to get the end. He will get knocked out of bounds just inside the 35-yard line, so gain of about four on the play. And we'll get a third and six here for the uh, Cougar offense. Kinley under center. Richardson, the deep back, he's going to get the ball. He's going to get hit. And he's going to get tackled. It's going to be a loss on the play. Good well, job what, defensively there by the Diamonds. I, I tell you what, I, I'm look at this roster. 42's a freshman, 82's a freshman, 78's a freshman. Um, they've got some. They've got some. Some good young kids, you know. Um, yeah, they do. They're getting a lot of quality time tonight. Uh, Bo Hannon, the running back, 25. He's a freshman. 36 is a run is a freshman too. That's uh, they got a lot of quality minutes in a varsity game. Can't gets hard to replace. Fourth and nine here for the Cougars. We're gonna leave the offense out here. Got a flag. 
It's not going to be a delay of game on the Cougars, so it's going to it's going to move them back. It'll make it a fourth and 14 for the Cougar offense. Hughes out here to punt it away. Actually, we've got a new punter in the ball game. Diamonds get some good pressure there, and it's going to be, it's going to hit, it's going to be fumbled here. I believe the Diamonds got on it. Yes, they did. So the Diamonds will escape with the football here at about the 10 yard line, about their own 10. White Abner was uh, fortunate enough to come up with that ball. Good hustle on his part. See uh, Harris now back in the game here at quarterback for the Diamonds. You got Hildale pulled up, Lou, watching it. Mm -hmm. Harris takes a snap, play action. He's pressured. Escapes. He throws it down the sideline. It's going to be incomplete. He's got number 16 in there, West. Ball was intended for him. Incomplete. That'll bring up second and 10 here for the Diamonds. Two forty-four left here, fourth quarter. Snap the give. Not much on the run there. I believe that's Brown in there at running back again for the Diamonds, number 40. That's 48 in there at running back. That's Austin File, the freshman running back. Third down. in the shotgun, takes a snap, play action, he looks, he's going to run it, he's going to have the first down and more, he's going to get outside, pretty good run for Harris there, it will be a first down, we have penalty flags down. Jackson Harris, quarterback, scramble. See what they figure out here on the penalty. One of the best, one of the best uh, plays of the game right there for the Diamonds tonight on that run. Yeah, it was. Good run. They're going to back it up. That's what unsportsmanlike? Is that, is yeah, that what we they, got? I think they called it on our quarterback over there. There's some extra curricular activity on the sideline over there. I yeah. caught the last bit of it. What I, I thought the official said there was number 10. Yep. Still a lot of people here. So it looks like Harris... We'll go to the bench. Looks like we got Smith back in the ball game there at quarterback. Smith back in there at quarterback. Takes the snap, the give. And that's foul on the run there. Austin foul, number 48. 
with a short game. I'll make it about a second and six here for the Diamond offense. Donnie Fredrickson's in there at wide receiver on the over toward the Ada sideline. Yeah. Foul gets it again. He's going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Riker Miller's in there at wide receiver. Demarion West, number 16, is in there at wide receiver. We'll take this down to about take this down to about 20 seconds right here. Smith fumbles the snap. And it looks like the Cougars will collect it. Ada Cougar offense will take over here with 40 seconds. Coach, you have any more plays of yesterday? Or we, we, we're that's, caught, that's, that's, that's all it, huh? Them. Yeah, that's all. Wow. We got them all four done. Yeah. As a reminder, next week we will be on the road. We'll be at Stillwell. I know you guys love that press box, guys. So we can't wait to go to Stillwell. Well, it'll be warmer than it was last November. It was chilly that night, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. And so if we have to stand halfway out the door this year, it won't be so bad. It might just be excellent temperature. It might just be it, awesome it's, weather. It's about that time of the year, yeah, that it, short time it, of the it year. It could be chilly. It's going to be, yeah, could be up there. Up there could be. Looks like they're, <clears> just, they're just going to let this clock run off here. Who's that there? On behalf of the Salisaw Public Schools, I'd like to thank you for attending tonight's game. And that will do it. Next week, the Black Diamonds Final score, Ada Cougars well, 48, Salisaw Black Diamonds zero. We'll be back with a post-game wrap-up after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Salisaw Black Diamond Football on Mix TV. Do you care for an aging loved one? Are you concerned about them and their daily welfare? Call Peter's Agency for personalized and compassionate home health and hospice care. Peter's Agency is available right now. Together, you can create a caring plan for your loved one. From dressing and grooming to meals and transportation, your loved one will feel comfortable and cared for. A solution is simple and only a phone call away. Peter's Agency provides comprehensive family-oriented health care with the belief that care with prayer changes things. Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee in Salisaw is Eastern Oklahoma's gun and ammo headquarters with hundreds to choose from at the best possible prices. If you're in a bind and need money, Victory Pond can get you the cash you need today. Victory Gun and Pond has great prices on interstate batteries, jewelry, coins, hunting and fishing gear, musical instruments, videos, tools, hardware, and so much more. It's Salisaw's one-stop shop. Go see them today at Victory Gun and Pond, 804 East Cherokee, where they treat you like family. Northeastern Health System in Salisaw realizes we all have choices in health care. When we are healthy, we laugh harder, we work better, and we take care of each other. So why not choose a hospital that cares for you and your community? You have choices. Choose personal respectful and compassionate care at Northeastern Health System in Salisaw. Your right choice for health care right here at home. Cinco's Grilling Cantina is Salisaw's home for great Mexican food and live music. Cinco's features amazing chile verde, fajitas, authentic street tacos, loaded baked potatoes, great drinks, and much more. Like them on Facebook for yummy specials, shopping events, and concerts. Plus, Cinco's Banquet and Event Center is available for wedding receptions, birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, and meetings. Cinco's Grilling Cantina, 230 North Oak in Salisaw. And remember, work hard, be kind, eat tacos. Hi, I'm senior Kelsey Merrill, and you're watching Black Diamond Football on Mixed TV. Go Black Diamond! Oh, and we're back here. Final score, Ada Cougars, 48, Southall Black Diamonds, zero. Tough, tough opening district game. You got to play a team like this. You know, you, we don't know. We didn't know a lot about them. We knew they they had a couple wins over some pretty good teams. So, real, a, re about them a really good football team. Um, they're they're going to make a lot of noise in District 4A4 if they if they're not the district champ. I mean they they, they may be district champs. They're going to be a factor. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. I don't you know I, I think they match up better with Hilldale than they do uh, 
because defensively. They, you know, Claremore shut down Hilldale's running game, and they kind of became non-existent offensively. Poto kind of caused them some trouble. And then, you know, I, I, and after that, you know, I, I don't know how they match up with Broken Bow. Where do you play, where does that game play? I mean, they've been to Broken Bow many times. Does Broken Bow have to go on the road? I don't know. And, you know, like I say, Medill and Broken Bow are in a slugfest tonight. Still well in Hilda are in a slugfest. So I don't know how this all shakes up. You know, here's the thing, like I always said, if we knew who was going to win this district, we just wouldn't play the game and save everybody the gas. There's, yeah. there's yeah. going to be a lot of things shake out of this oh, district yeah. this year. Yeah. Well, the Diamonds just need to regroup and, uh, and uh, go and then, out and, and, get, and get better again next get week. Get better again exactly next week. Right. Well, I mean, hey, there's, there's four a, spots. Yeah. So there's four spots. You're playing for yeah. that fourth spot to get into the to get into the playoffs. Yeah. That's what and you're playing for. And here you, you never know. I mean, you never a know. lot of things can. No, happen. you don't. A lot of things can shake out. Right. I, I th and and I think tonight wasn't so much of a game that I think they overwhelmed us a little bit early, and then uh, you know and and things started going their way. I mean that catch that kid made in the end zone. We, we're we're both yeah. in his hip right there, and he just goes up and snags it. Yeah. So. You know, sometimes I've been, I've been in these type of games where nothing went right, you know, and it was one of those things we did tonight. Next week we'll be on the road. We'll be at Stillwell. Um, so join us on the Mix TV for that. Um, so, I mean, Diamonds, like you guys said, just got to just gotta go regroup and try to get something positive. And, and you know, next week, another winnable game. Very much yeah. so. Go to, go to Steelwell, get a win, and, and really you know, try to get some momentum going. For yeah, very winnable game. Weeks. Sure is. Um, yeah. Good job by the crew tonight. Caleb down, you know, on the field, do, does a great job. Anna up top, Joe running the show. Great job. You guys. Thanks, crew. Great job. Yep, yep great job for Craig Benson, Lewis Walking Stick. I'm Brad Cameron. Everyone have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. If you think about it, hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not French fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? Mm. That's also true. There's always something to talk about when it comes to McDonald's breakfast. Right now, get a sausage biscuit and hash browns or a McChicken biscuit and hash browns for $2. Only at McDonald's. Since 1907, Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service has been serving families with compassion and attention to detail when you experience the loss of a loved one. Trust Agent Mallory Martin to guide you through the process of honoring your loved one's life with dignity. With over 100 years of experience in all facets of funeral service, Agent Mallory Martin will help you celebrate your loved one in a way that would make everyone proud. Agent Mallory Martin Funeral Home and Cremation Service, serving your family from one generation to the next. Michael Bench from the Mix 1051. I moved back home to Salisaw and two weeks after I arrived, lightning struck my AC unit and it was toast. I called LaCosta at Oberstee Insurance and she quickly got the ball rolling with the American farmers and ranchers folks and my AC was replaced in just a few days. They were extremely professional. Thanks again for the great service. Folks, if you want this level of service, stop by 1213 East Cherokee or on the other end of 775-6233. You're watching Mix TV.